Anyway. Oh, anyway. boy. Anyway. out. Thanks, everyone, for coming this week. Yeah, yeah. I guess I uh, could take time out of my busy schedule. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was uh, I was looking at the dates and it's not exactly the anniversary, but um, we started the uh, Waterdeep game about one year ago. So, oh wow! Ooh. Yeah. Yay! Woo! Sam and my first dive into D&D. You have survived a full year. Yep. It's kind of like well, just a week or two from now, but we were definitely talking about it. Yeah. Then. That's awesome. still cool. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Bun, put your token. Did I change mine? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so uh, last time on the wild beyond the witchlight, um, you're about to exit uh, Loom Lurch, which is Granny Nightshade's lair. Do you have a conversation with some of the child, let's just call them slaves, because they're basically slaves, that work for Granny Nightshade making grotesque toys? Um, you, you talked to a couple of them in one of the workshops. Um, he said they're he said they're treated well, but you know if they disobey, then they disappear for a little while. Um, and uh, they say they occasionally they occasionally uh, will the Feywild. Will the Feywild comes and frees a few of them when he can, and they're always looking forward to his next visit. Uh, but it's been a while since he's came, since he's came. Um, on your way to Little Oak, you came across a elderly centaur whose uh, tribe once lived in the area that will become known as Thither. Um, but he was becoming too old to uh, keep up with the pack with his, with his tribe, so he kind of volunteered to be left behind, uh, mostly because a uh, young foal named Kalzi, um got separated from the clan. Um, apparently he wandered into a, um, group of, uh, fairy rings, like a ring of mushrooms, um, and he knew the secret of how to activate them, and that's how our player, Kalzi, uh, got from the Feywild to the Witchlight Carnival, to which he did not have a ticket. So that's why his horse half got stolen, um. Uh, Winterbow volunteered also to look for Kalzi um, as the clan moved on. So we had a touching reunion there. Um, he met up with Will of the Feywild, a, uh, a 12-year-old boy who rescues the children from um, Granny Nightshade. Um, his best friend is a displacer, displacer beast kitten named Star, which is the, uh, the lost kitten that you were looking for from um, the Displacer Beast who worked at the carnival. Uh, Will agreed that he should probably, that Star should be with his family, but he was, um, needed Star for the, uh, for the, um, the mission he was going to go on at, at Loom Lurch. And after that took place, um, he could return home. Or, when he was able to return home, he could go. Uh, Will had a plan to free the children of Loom Lurch, and since you're available, he wanted you to be a part of it. Um, but in the end, you convinced him to turn himself in, kind of as bait, and then you could launch an attack on Granny Nightshade. That's still your plan now. Maybe it's changed. That's what he was pondering over as you took uh, your long rest. Um, during the night, Pimner laid awake and saw a large winged creature fly over the, uh, the camp towards the direction of the Wayward Pond, a, uh, a place where a unicorn lived. That's where Pimner and Aster had a nice heart-to-heart. -heart. And I believe in the morning you were going to go visit the unicorn at, Wayward, at the Wayward Pond. Um, Will said that to get through the enchantments of the of the lake, you had to dress up as a unicorn, so he let you borrow his costume. Also, there was keep going and going and going with this one. There was a wow. oil can, enchanted oil can named um, oh, named yeah. Squirt, oh. 
God. That, oh. that uh, agreed to guide you to Yawn um, if you refill him with Boogle Oil, which can be found at Lumarch. And has instantly become the fan favorite uh, character in the entire game. Yep, I've been seeing fan, fan art and fan fiction of Squirt. <laughs> the new game mascot. Yep. <laughs> Right. And is now going to show up in every game that we ever play for the rest of the rest but, of forever. But he is now tagging along with the um, with everyone. So he's going. Okay, so you take your long your long rest. You all leveled up, and uh, the day is yours. You have about six <laughs> days until Bavlorna's curse takes effect. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that curse. Yeah. Just so dilly dally, you should be fine. Is, is that like Karen and Gray are the ones that need to worry uh, about that? Yeah, since they made. Well, yeah, it was just them, really. Because. Yeah, because um, that's where the agreement was made between Gray and Karen. So, hey, uh, Gray, do you, do you think we should, um, are you okay? Because I know you and Karen have got into another deal with that Florina. Do you think you'll be able to get that portrait in time? Uh, we've, we've still got a couple days, so, I mean, uh, I, we're, we're making good time. I, let's, uh, I'm optimistic anyway. Oh, that's good to hear. Pim will also update everyone about the big bird thing. Did did none of you did none of you wake up? It, there was an enormous screeching and a bird that was just as big. I I, I heard something. I, I just assumed it was Karen. <laughs> no, I have my mic turned off. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what was that? I had my hearing aid off. I don't need it. I only hear what I choose to. <laughs> Called selective <laughs> hearing, says the doctor. <laughs> he says some other yeah. things, but I don't recall what he said. <laughs> Alright, so little, um, Will the Feywild, the other kids there, um, hand you the unicorn costume. And so you, you're gonna need this to get through the, uh, Enchantment of the Wayward Pool, or else you'll just kind of end up where you uh, where you started. Um, and for the rest of you, if you just put on these wooden unicorn horns, so that'll be enough. As long as we have the good one. Yeah, just just stay close to the costume. And says, "Well, who should I who should I give this to you? To like, which two are going to use it?" Gray, of course, grins over at uh, Aster and. Uh... Fedora Mark now, apparently. <laughs> uh, this I flaming kobold suddenly sh shows up. Oh, never mind. <laughs> there, there's there Kelsey. Oh, oh, Kelsey kind of gets up. Oh, I had a dream that I had there was a hurricane nearby and <laughs> everything went dark for a bit, but I'm okay now. That's nice. Here's had a costume. had a dream we were in the Feywild. <laughs> you were there, and you were there. <laughs> Looking, looking at the costumes, like, ah, uh, can I be the back legs? You want to be the uh, ass? Uh, uh, I have to get Aster's voice back. You, you uh, want to be the ass? You want to be the arse? So the fine, yes, take. It, I'm just, please. I'm just slowly turning my head to look over at Aster, catching locking eyes with him. When um, Aster says yeah. the word ass. All little kids start to giggle. <laughs> oh, grow up. Christ. Christ doesn't exist in this one, sorry. <laughs> they all yell, we can't. <laughs> and, um, this is just one, one, one show. And um, whenever someone swore, they would go, Jesus, Lathander, Christ. 
Uh, I said, I said that today to my, my boss came into the office. I usually work alone Fridays. My boss came in and I was listening to my music on blast and he just stepped into my office and I went, Jesus Christ. And he goes, no, no, but I do work for him. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> funny. <laughs> anyway. Anyhow. Uh, Kelsey is la- locking eyes with Aster. What was this? Uh, I was like, yes, I would. Okay. Because nobody else ever wants to be the back. And I'm trying to do good here. I, I miss having back licks. That too. Uh, I'm just not going <laughs> to say anything at all. No, feel free, my friend. Take it. I will hey. gladly be the f- front of this. Yeah. Well, good. Now that that's all said, I guess we can get going. <laughs> Wait, do we have to put it on now, or can we get a little closer to the pool before we... uh? Before we, if you uh, really want to put it on now, we can put it on now. I mean, we don't. I'll just put the backside on, and then I'll just. If you really want it on now, which that's what it sounds like you're I mean, saying. We don't, we don't have to connect the two pieces, no right? We could just. We could just. Well, I, I, I could I, kind I, of get in the character if you know some practice to help trick the magic. Uh, that might work. Uh, no, no, no. I, I'll, I think I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll wait. You can wait. But we'll, I'll, I'll, we'll carry, go, I'll carry it. We'll go, I'll whatever carry. works for you guys. <laughs> now, look, now, we wouldn't, too much, wouldn't put too much stock into that uh, unicorn. It's kind of a goody two shoes. Like, I asked yeah. for it for help, and it just like, it's like, no, I must stay well, here. That seems the opposite of a goody two shoes. A goody two shoes would help you. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> oh, kids. Hey, right, let's go. Cool. Let's get a move on. I think I had. Um, I was going to do this before I got disconnected. I think I had prepped my uh, spells that I wanted for this time because we were we weren't expecting to jump right into the fight. We we're going to do stuff at the pool for it, and maybe the next day, hmm. like prep everything and do that. So, well, you definitely like hang out somewhere if you wanted to. But uh, but yeah, yeah. All right, so on our way to on our wayward to wayward pool, all the kids wave Carry goodbye. On. And uh, squirt the oil can. I think Pim- Pimmer might have been holding them. I forget who was holding them, but squirt the oil can goes. Oh yeah, I can fly. And he kind of floats out of whoever's pocket. It starts floating behind you. Well, that's that's nice, I guess. Um, so you're not in my pockets. Yeah, uh, won't be much much help to you until I get my boogle oil, but uh, you know it's, it's it's nice to get out and stretch your proverbial legs. You know what I mean? And then when yeah. I get my oil, we can party. What does this oil do for you? Why do you need this oil in particular? Well, where else are you gonna get oil? Oh, if not yeah. from, if not from a boogle. Whales. Um, you see any sometimes you find it in the ground. You see any oceans around here? Space whales. I've heard there are whales in space. Is there whales in swamps? Can does that happen? <laughs> oh, around here, you might. Yeah. Corn. Yeah. <laughs> you may occasionally find a whale in the forest, but the most common way to get it is squeeze a boogle. Or get, to, or get them to be scared, and they just poop right out. They squirt it out. Oh, oh god, I just oh. got it. <laughs> well, not it. Um, but we will, we will, we will get you what you need. <sighs> I hope. When I scratch your, you scratch my back. I scratch yours. You know, give me oil, take you to God. Yeah, I guess that works. It is pretty convenient that we found somebody who knew the way to yawn. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I completely, for- I like, almost completely forgot as to why we had him in the first place. <laughs> and, and we didn't have to collect any extra limbs to do so. I think you mentioned yeah. he was he used to be at um, the hags there. He was, a, pro- he was um, a prop. He was like a prop, like- or he used to be oil, like oil the uh, the ladders or whatever the hinges. Master, it's it's been ten hours. I mean. I had a really, <laughs> really heavy sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Two hours, or ten hours, it feels like a lifetime. Yeah. 
At least two weeks. <laughs> yeah, you spent some time following the river down to the wayward pool. Um, as you get closer, um, come across an area like just on the verge of where like the mist of where the pool starts, um, where it looks like something big kind of landed and crashed into some trees. And uh, you look down and you see a um, a trail of monstrous claw prints on the forest floor. Each print spans at least three feet from heel to toe. Everybody, I I, I think that's the thing I saw in the in the air last night. It was heading right here. Uh. Can I uh, do something to try attempt to identify the creature based on the footprint? Um, hey, give me a, a, a nature. You see, like, the prints kind of go into the fog, and then, like, not far away, they're kind of leading outwards. And then they... The, the, the creature that came out on my roll on D20 was a space whale. <laughs> okay. Coincidentally enough. <laughs> but a 17 nature. 17. Something that you've ever seen before. You don't know... Like, whatever it is, it, it was extremely... It was definitely very large. Definitely not a hoof. <coughs> well? <laughs> should we, uh... Was what was this creature that you saw in your dream? Was it was it injured? Was it? I like, never said it was hostile? a dream. I said it was real. Oh, oh, I, oh, okay. Well, what did you see after your dream in your real place? Um, there was never any dream, Kelsey. Okay. I saw real things that night, and it was just a loud screech and a very, very large. Like twenty owls large, I think it was the. <laughs> That's, that uh, was, was the, the measurement. measurement. Mm-hmm. Twenty owls. Twenty owls. <laughs> I'm never. I can never get used to these arc. These ancient forms of uh, of uh, measurement. Why do we Is still that... use these? It's <laughs> obvious. They're circus measurements. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's on owls. <laughs> <laughs> well, did it? Did it sound injured? Did it sound hostile? Was was anything else that? I guess I don't know enough about it to know if that's just its regular voice or if it was in distress. It was just very loud is really all I remember. And then it blacked out the sky when it went over top of us. Been huge. Pretty yeah. pretty big. And I mean, I say that about a lot of things. But yeah, I mean, I th- yeah. <laughs> I think this is pretty big for even you two. And, and all of you, actually. Let's just say all of you. I'm, I'm like stacked one... on top of each other. Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe if you stacked each other on each to- on each other, like maybe nine times, you'd be half as big as it. I think that's. Wait, so all of us, as a group, nine times, or between all of us, it was nine. It's a group. Oh wow, that's big. Yeah, I hope that works better than the owls. So we're so we're in agree- agreement that it's big. Well, I am. I, uh, yes. Are we in agreement to hope that it is no longer here? Well, maybe we could catch a ride with it. That'd be nice, convenient. Maybe it ate the unicorn. Sorry. Uh. Uh, met with the unicorn is what I meant to say. <laughs> I mean. Does it look like this? Are the footprints heading towards the pool? You see one heading in, and then another heading out, and then it just kind of ends after you know several meters, and then just stops. Well, if anything, the uh, the the whatever creature this was wasn't a unicorn, so well, probably went in and then came right back out. One of two things, then, if that's the case, because if you can't like get past the enchantment here without having the unicorn costume or being a unicorn either it tried to get through and it couldn't 
so it just left, or it did get through, in which case, what the fuck kind of owl bird creature? Maybe it was a flying unicorn. Did it look I mean, obviously yeah. used dark? You couldn't really tell. I believe they're called Pegasi. Sure. <laughs> um, but Relatives of yours? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> we split back evolutionary uh, you see unicorn evolution is very interesting how it compares and contrasts to that of the centaur evolutionary. that's great tell us later so what <laughs> 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 where do um, we just keep going do we like will you keep note that these giant footprints are here and maybe keep on well, getting to that we can just be quiet when we go in that's all I'm guessing that it took back off if it came out, and then the footprint stopped. Which leads me to wonder, like, why didn't they? Why didn't it just fly into the middle of the thing as the enchantment? Because it's because the enchantment kills you, obviously. Yeah, but but wouldn't they just fly in and then fly back out? Well, maybe you have to go through the water or something. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's why uh, it crashed. Uh, it got disoriented. Or that. Really, the only way to find out is to actually go <clears throat> go across the pond. I mean, pool. we are here. Yeah, at this All point, right. you're... Like, imagine there's, like, mist on the um, outskirts of this pool, so you can kind of see it in the distance. You squint really hard. <laughs> well, uh, right. give me the costume. Let's go, legs. Pim puts on her horn. Uh, mask on, or uh, whatever. Yeah, the horn, sorry. Yeah, imagine yeah. like a a belt with a wooden unicorn you know, horn. Mm -hmm. end, oh, yeah. we're summoners now. Yeah. <laughs> Class change. <laughs> you have to start level one again. Um, you arrive at the witch <laughs> Oh no, we're out leveled. You uh, arrive at the witch -like carnival and they go, ah, a group of summoners. <laughs> You got a free ticket, isn't that a twist? <laughs> okay. So you all put on your costumes, I assume. Mm hmm And you head into the mist. You watch the water your deep hands, or is Kelsey. it I guess the pool? What was that? Well nothing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so um give me uh, Aster and Halsey, give me um, like a dexterity check to see how in tandem you are. Just a straight dex check. Sure. Okay. Not quite performance, and it's not quite stealth. Yeah. Oh no! It did that thing again where it's obviously it talked, but it's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> like Aster's just walking too fast. Halsey's like. <laughs> going too slow and then try to like speed up to catch up with you but like kind of like hits you in the backside with his with his head aster aster i'm so what have you never been hind legs or four legs before kelsey look at the way my body is shaped do you really I can't. think it's I very dark to... back here no i have not <laughs> all right look okay just put your like hands on <laughs> put your hands on my hips and just I, I thought I was. Oh, I don't know where they were. They certainly weren't on my hips. All right, oh, let's God. try this again. Imagine right. like a, the makeshift <clears throat> unicorn head, like turning around, like arguing with his butt. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the butt just cartoonishly wiggling uh, whenever uh, Kelsey is talking, <laughs> even though it makes no sense. <laughs> well, this is the funny thing is Aster realistically would be standing straight up, right? Yeah, because yeah, yeah, he yeah. has hooves for legs already. Kelsey's probably yeah, bent over. Yeah. Um, this is very awkward. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, maybe we could do one of two things. Uh, oh, you're making you progress. You're just not very... very well, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna take out my pan flute and just, like, in a very simple rhythm, kind of go... How? Just clench it in your mouth? <laughs> yeah, you, you can't... Yeah. You definitely can't do that with you. With the... I'll... I mean, I, I'm not trying to play it as much as I just need to make a sound. Can I not do that? Because I assume I still have hands. So they're it, just not outside the. They're not outside the the, yeah. or, the unicorn. I play it like a kazoo. Yeah. It's up to you, Joe. Oh, it's all. Are you making like a metronome? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. So yeah. You're, so you're now a, a costume unicorn with music coming out of its butt, <laughs> making way through I, the fog. It was either that or I pick up um, Aster and we just James Baxter our way in there. James Baxter. James <laughs> Baxter. Right, um, just reading the head a little bit. What's all Wait, your, what's your, up, what's let's your, show you off the card. What's your uh, passive? I don't know my app, but what's everyone's passive perception? That's not in a unicorn costume. Uh, fourteen. Nine for pimp. Oh, Karen. Karen? It is... Passive perception. Four plus four. Wait, what? Oh, where? where? I've never used this before. Uh, underneath saving throws. Yeah, the little box. Oh, okay, 14. Box. Sorry. Because yeah. it says passive whiz. And I was looking <laughs> yeah. at that, and then... Yeah. The whiz. Okay. You're all kind of the same, except for Pimmer, ironically. I'm in my own world. Yep. She's too short, she can't see over everybody's legs. Alright. <laughs> Mist drifts over the surface of a small lake. Forest's crags line the shore on one side of the lake, and mossy rocks protrude from the shallows. Near the center of the lake is a rocky in inlet. Islet. Turn over here. Is the pool, is it, I, I assume, no more than, like, legs deep? Um, let's see. That's kind of loud. Is Pimnar in trouble? Never! Just, just right on, just right on the, our back, Pimnar. Wanna look weird having a unicorn riding another unicorn? Have, I mean, you've been in, we've been in the, here for at least two days. I mean... It won't, I mean, right now I'm tooting with my pan flute out of the unicorn butt. It's not going to be any weirder than that. It's a little bit weird, not going to lie. Yeah, so you, you can definitely tell as you get um, that like the water is darker as you get to like in between the shore and the uh, little island. So it does seem to be be fairly deep. Oh, I can I can do something. And you get the sense too that you can take off costume. I'll take off the costume. I guess. Um, how how far away from the little inlet? It is. Islet? It says islet. I've never really heard that. Before. Yeah. Um, it's over. It seems to be over two hundred feet away. I'm going to go ahead and cast. New spell I haven't used yet. Summon boat. Um. Oh, do do clerics have uh? Do clerics have um? Ritual. I always forget if who has rituals spell casting. I I actually don't know. I will look that up real I quick. I think only I... four spellcasters do. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have ritual spell casting. Um, uh, it doesn't say in the page straight. So. I will just cast this normal then. Uh, oh no, uh, I unprepared cleric spells as rituals if they have the ritual tag. Uh, if we take ten minutes, ten minutes and six seconds, I can kind of cast something that'll help us. I probably should have did it before, but I, I wasn't sure. So, so all this um, non-official art I've been using in um, Thither yeah. is, uh, is very cool. Like the ones I used in... Um, in Hither were good, but I just love these. Yeah. Um, if you want to go find them, found on a guy named, if you're listening, um, found on a guy named Reddit called uh, Shoddy Employment uh, 954. <laughs> um, he, you know, it was at the Wild Beyond the Witchlight subreddit, but um, he does, he's doing these wonderful paintings of um, uh, Witchlight environments, right. and he's very active in the in the bedbug community, apparently. 
Okay. So there you go. <laughs> so, what? <laughs> Some things are better left unknown. Uh, I, I'm going to assume so, yes, especially since I have a phobia of insects. Oh, um, oh geez. Identifying, um, anyway. um, he helps people um, identify bed bugs, apparently. That's his, oh, he's just, that's his hobby. That's actually kind of interesting. And drawing paintings for Dungeons & Dragons. <laughs> so, like train spotting, but much creepier. Yeah, I would think these um, pictures are on DM's Guild for pay what you want. So. Okay, cool. For, uh, for... Anyway, well, back to back to what I was asking everybody in character is that if we want to, if we could take a little over ten minutes, I can cast something to make it a little easier. Feel free. Okay, so we'll just wait ten minutes. We'll find a relatively, you know, like a rock or something to sit on, and as I cast it, uh, and I'm going to cast as a ritual water walk. You target creatures submerged. Uh, Spellgrass ability move across liquid uh, smooth, 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 ground. Up to 10 willing creatures I can see within range, creating this ability for the duration. We'll cast it on all of us and uh, the spigot spout squirt. Squirt goes, no need, man. I can float. Too bad. Oh, I guess he's not willing now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I refuse. <laughs> Very well. But does float actually work above water? Or. He just floats above the bottom of the lake. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. I've never questioned that ever. You need the, the powerful hoverboard? He does it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it says fly 30 feet, parentheses, hover. Yeah, yeah. They just have the ability to... to, to hover. That means yeah. he, can't, he can't be knocked prone and stuff when he's flying. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, just try me, knock me prone. I, um... Oh, I wish I had telekinesis. Vimir <laughs> yeah, sneaks up behind him and tries to do just knock him down. He kind of like flips in the air a few feet, like whoa, whoa, whoa! But he gets right back up. See, he told you. His little scamp. <laughs> now imagine me filled with oil. I, I'd rather not. Doesn't that? Wouldn't that just mean you'd be a lot stick like slicker? I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, on that note, uh, what did that spell do? So we now have the ability to walk on water. Um, and uh, well, actually, we have the ability to walk on any liquid. This would include lava, although we would take damage by walking across it. But uh, we can move across any liquid surface uh, as if it were harmless solid ground. It takes the first step. For one hour. This concentration... Nope. Yeah. Right. Pim's intrigued. Who, yeah, who, take, who ventures takes the first step. She tries being like really like stealthy. I, I don't know, like careful about it, just to like to test it out, and it would just be interesting. So reaches out, almost like you know when you're gonna test the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dip a toe in. Yeah, yeah. Tries doing that and seeing if it just like what happens. Yeah, if it, it feels like you're like pressing against like. Jello, jelly. Uh, you've got, uh, you've got Doctor Sholin's holes. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like just kind of squishy, but like wet at the same time. It's weird, but it supports your weight, and like little oh. ripples appear beneath your feet when you take little steps. That works, Kelsey. This is probably one of the neatest things I've ever experienced. I'll just. Be careful if you have to dive under the water. I'm not quite sure how that works. I've never tried it, never tested it, but I've worried about it often. Eh. I, I can understand with with a spell like this. Why would you need a boat? It reminds me of World of Warcraft. <laughs> Whenever we're in a dungeon, you have to drop down to a pool of water. Sometimes there would be some jerk who casts Water Walk on, um, on someone, so when, they, <laughs> so when they fall in the water, they take fall damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that jerk, was, that jerk was me sometimes. Good times, good times. Not so, to point fingers, but uh, right back at this guy. <laughs> so don't jump from a cliff. Um, but yeah, look, we can all head head up there. So, except Squirt, just have to hover. I'm getting tired of all this walking. Someone carry me. 
What? You well, flew out of someone's pocket. I don't know what you're trying to. Oof, very particular. Quirt. Well, it looks like you volunteered and he hops into your pack. Oh, oh no. I don't, I, don't, listen, I don't know if this I, works over water, and I'm not about to try. Yeah. Just don't get touchy in anything down there. <laughs> I, I have 100 keep, handkerchiefs, and I am keeping count. I was to say, well, there's 100 <laughs> handkerchiefs down here. <laughs> I think Gray whisper, whispers to Pimner, uh, what are the chances of... Uh, 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 how long do you think till he regrets that? <laughs> oh, um, I don't know, like five minutes, I guess. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's we'll cross the lake? Yep, about, yep. Uh, it's about 250 feet across um, fresh, still water. Um, you reach an islet about 30 feet wide and 40 feet long. Um, so you climb to the top of this little island. Um, you find a little iron bowl filled with coals. They uh warm at all? They're not. Well, uh what did what did what did what were we told we had to do when we got here? <clears throat> I, don't think, out. I don't think we'll ever told you. Yeah. I think we left that out. Yeah. yeah. It seemed like the unicorn just like shows up. It seemed like it would just happen. Don't unicorns usually like require a maiden or something? Like, don't they only appear before maidens? I'm not putting the back <sighs> back costume on for that. Well, no, I was just gonna. I, I, I'm eyeing towards Karen because I know she's gonna say something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know it's a good thing that you have me here to help you all out. What <laughs> does a particular maideny thing that a unicorn need like? Do I just look at my reflection in the water and maybe they'll trot up behind me? Do I... Do, do I dance gracefully throughout the woods? And the Astros spirit of my like... dance attracts the unicorn? <laughs> well, so I like, was thinking, um, just because as a DM, I probably just kind of forgot to tell you, but it seems like they would have um, mentioned how to summon the unicorn. Hey, Squirt, have you ever heard about how to summon the unicorn? It's like, oh yeah, everyone knows that. <laughs> Yeah, solve the problem. There you go. Say, yeah. so, um, <laughs> gotta light, you gotta light that, uh, gotta light that fire there. Oh well, sorry, Karen. That's um, off. That's okay. I can use my maiden things elsewhere. This isn't the only place I'm needed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Astra kind of like looks over at Gray, just leads it real close, like. I didn't realize. Well, who's going to light it then? I don't have a mat. What did you, you say, Jess? I didn't realize that Karen was actually, like, a legitimate maiden. <laughs> I, I kind of doubt she is. <laughs> but then again, uh, can you imagine anybody making her not a maiden? Oh, I don't want to. Why did you have to put that mental image <laughs> in my head? <laughs> All right, fire! Who's got some fire? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Chop, chop! <clears throat> I, guess, I guess if the sun comes out, I can use my spyglass to I try and tinder. heat up I, some. I, I have a tinder. You and that spyglass! I have a I, tinder box. It's fine. Okay. I mean, I, I probably should have used the spyglass to see what was here before we came over, now that I think about it. The go on, just... go on. Light, 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 light the <laughs> He's fire! He's doing it! God, let me role play it, Mark. <laughs> oh, sorry, you were sl- you were silent. I thought you panicked. No. Uh, he, he can't see. He's still in the costume. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls it out. He's like he was like slowly pulling it out, and like I you realize I'm doing like pantomiming, but you can't. F- see it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like pulling it out of his pocket, and like thought it was pot. Whatever, you know what I mean. And like slowly strikes the match on the side of the box, sticks it in the coals. Okay. Strikes it up against his butt. Yeah. This roll me a straight d20. Unicorn. Wait, what? Sorry? This roll me a straight d20. Okay. Here we go. Three. Oh, unicorn. It was close. Twelve. Okay, yeah. 
Since there is no wind, you are manage to keep the flame going and you light up coals and a little fire appears in the little iron pot. And uh, the mists that kind of sur that are surrounding the lake, lake starts to dissipate. Like, centered on the, the, the fire and like going outwards. Like, you can see the uh, the lake in the um, in the land a little more clearly, and uh, as the fog parts from the um, from the shore around the around the area where uh, you cast your spell, you see the um, silhouette of a unicorn. The lakeshore mist part to reveal a white horse with a single gleaming horn on her brow. She stands perfectly still, silently observing you. Hello? Wow. That's pretty. <clears throat> uh, so, so, so you are on the island right now, and she's on the shore. Yeah. We were just do we, there. Do we, yeah, do we... Do we, we should split up. Ugh. Do we, uh... Should we, we just we walk right back over there? I yeah, think we I should. Think, I think yeah. we're just gonna walk right back over. Uh, Karen's gonna walk queen. right back over. Pardon? Feel free, my queen. You are yeah. the witch light monarch. Seems to get me a lot of places. I don't mind. <laughs> so she's just gonna walk back over. Excuse me. Um, Mr. or Mrs. or Mixed Unicorn. <laughs> So are, are you are you walking at this yeah, point? towards the shore. Okay, so you guys are kind of on the shore now. She um does a kind of the horse bow thing. And she goes, Monarch. You hear this voice oh. in your head. This uh feminine sounding voice. Aaron's gonna like curtsy back. It's not such a like pencil skirt thing can do. And I go, oh, thank you. Honor to meet you. Do not remember the last time I was in the presence of which like Mara. My name is Lamorna. For why did you seek my presence? Well, there's there's a problem with some hags and they're stealing some kids and then we need to I don't know there's a lot of things we're, we're doing we're trying to do a lot of things we gotta get a picture from one hag and yawn oh, I guess there's a lot going on and we're just wondering if we can get some help well if you're expecting or, me to help you on your shores or some, gui some guidance guidance of course <laughs> And when when she's talking, she's you can tell like there's this s s sorrowful tone to her voice. She thinks in sadness. Yeah. Telepathy. Is 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 something wrong, Lamorna? Step forward. Oh, I'm sorry. I have talked to myself. Since I lost my mate, kind of, kind of, quickly side eye Karen. <laughs> um, uh, I'm very sorry to hear that. Um, uh, yes, <laughs> kind of just panic. Or perhaps my story is relevant uh, to yours in some way. Are they physically just lost as in not found, is what you mean? I don't think so, Kelsey. I, I did that based on what they said. Well, if you listen to my story, perhaps oh. I can be some assistance to you. I, I sit down on the water and just listen. Unicorn, Are you... 
<laughs> so the, the costumed unicorn just sits yeah. down on a taunt. <laughs> By the way, that uniform is offensive. Please remove it. <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry. It I was tolerate uh, when the children do it, but seriously. You're I thought we, I thought we, I thought man. we said we, I thought we said we I took know, them I'm off. Kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Fusing me there. The unicorn um, hurts the water, and uh, the water begins to shimmer, and part of it starts like starts to rise up. And it forms the image of a unicorn, similar to this. Oh. My mate was Eladon. Been together since Prismere was whole. That's before the hags appeared. And they stole his horn. Oh. And it's with that horn in which they imprison Zablina, protector of prisoner. Well, I've. Um, A lot of things falling into place. I, yeah, I don't know if this is, like, appropriate to say. It's a good thing, but also a bad thing, I guess, in your sake. Um, they've lost said horn. But that is somewhat unfortunate, because I believe the horn is returned to my mate. That he can be made whole again. I believe he may be somewhere in the they do they have tasked us with finding it so if we do find it do not return the horn to the hag oh, no, I, impl not. I implore you No. Wait, it, why, why would we even ever have that thought if it was powerful enough to uh, it, uh, to uh, entrap her then uh, we do not want them to have it back no. oh no Sablina was a vainglorious person. A bit deceitful at times, but her privacy or um but uh this made Prismir a very private part of the Feywild. Kept it very safe. Um I'm sure every creature here remembers better days before the Hags came. Yes. We are on a, we'll say, quest that has led us to uh, attempt to dispatch the Hags. Perhaps bringing... You're choosing violence. No, no, no. I'm not judging. It, I mean, it, it sounded a bit like you were, but... She's... I, well, I mean, like... Scavatha's, like, enslaved children. I think that it's justified, you know? We have no other way of, of, of getting rid of them than that might be what we end up doing, Yes. Unless you have other ideas or know of anything that can help us. Batching of the hags would be beneficial, but I don't think Prismir will be fully restored until Zablina's freed. That would be a secondary <laughs> a follow-up. Have you heard of the Palace of Heart's Desire? I don't. That that's where been. she's being held, right? Yes, it was where she made her home. I believe that's where she, she will be. 
Didn't we see it when we were on the hot air balloon? Uh, it, it was almost like uh, near the very beginning when we uh, first came to Pr uh, Prismere. Yeah, like even when you were in Thither and even um, in Hither and Thither, if you just look through the mist surrounding the uh, the area, you can like just make out like the shape of, of the palace. And then it may be gone the next moment you look there. Gonna have to backtrack all the way to where we started. Oh yeah, I, th I think it was the uh, uh, the goblin with the uh, with the locks that told us. So wait, if we free Sabrina, we won't have to kill the hags. I. That's not. Lem I believe if Sabrina was freed, then the hags would not be able to overpower her without the horn. And since the horn was used in her imprisonment, it's safe to assume that it can be used for her freedom. If you can locate this. Do you have any means to, uh, to assist with finding it? Her head kind of... Oh, I will say, um, when she was, like, talking about Zablina and stuff, she also caused the water to, like, Form the uh, the shape of this uh, of this woman with long hair. Um, that's really all I can tell because it's just water. But um, like this beautiful gown, long hair reaching down to her lower back. Um, and then once you talk about the hags, they kind of show watery versions of themselves. Um, so it's like a, it's like an ice sculpture, but water. Yeah. Um, and and. Uh, Ray, you asked, uh, you know, locational horn. Um, she goes, sadly, I can no longer feel. I have no um, knowledge of where the horn may be, but I do think Eldon is still alive. Because if something happened to him, I think I would feel it. Well, we're definitely interested in find, uh, finding the horn. Could be somewhere you've been, or someone somewhere you've yet to been. Yet to be. That's a fun way to say anywhere. Yeah. That does narrow it down. So it's just not here. So it, just, it could be in Yon or it could be in Thither. The one we aren't in. Uh, zither, I think. Hither, Thither, and Yon. Oh, right. Or, she says, uh, perhaps in the palace itself. She did say it was lost. If the hags aren't in possession of it, then that's a very good thing. Mm -hmm. I wonder how they lost it. But not exactly, like, you know, terribly intelligent. I'm back. Everything's still loading up. <laughs> I wonder if they're all arguing about it, maybe flying over the air or something, and then it got... Launched into another area by a magic spell that accidentally fired. Something like, like that. You like losing power, Mark? Yeah, it's 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 flipping in and out, and it actually just flipped. The lights just flipped right now, but no, nothing else went out. So okay. Yeah, yeah, so I, can't, we, I can't hear um, like Discord sounds, so I didn't, didn't know if you left. Okay, yeah, uh, I will. Yeah, if I get if I'm not here, if I definitely get this card connected from roll twenty. It's likely because of that, so. Okay. Am you, Ian? <laughs> hey, you don't know of any way to help locate it, then? Sadly, sadly, no. Do you know how we'd be able to recognize it? Huh. 
if a uh, unicorn could give you a look. <laughs> Lamorna gives you that look. And, like, kind of gestures in an upward motion. It's probably not going to be made of wood. And indicates the one that... Uh, uh, the one that they were wearing. <laughs> fair, fair. I deserve that. It was a valid question. It could have been like a different color or something, you know? Well, I was just wondering maybe there was a way to detect it with like a divining rod or a spell. But I guess uh, you can't even use that detect magic thing you talked about because everything here is magic. Can you can you use it to be like one thing's more magicy than the other? Second, I think maybe Kelsey blacked out. One second. Oh again. Mark. Yeah. Yep. Oh no. Should we take somebody... a little break. Yeah. Yeah. You know, let's take a little break. See if the internet gets internet gets better. Hurricane break. Hurricane break. All right. Okay, so Lamorna was um, kind of talking about the palace heart desires. This where Zablina is probably frozen. Um, she's talking about her horn, her, her mate's horn. But there's no way to locate it magically or otherwise. Could be somewhere you've been, somewhere you've yet to go. <laughs> so I, I blipped out. I was going to ask uh, Lamorna if it would be possible if I could um if she if she could somehow show us the horn and maybe we could do a locate object type thing on it or is that outright not possible too she said um that would not be possible okay ah uh, well is there anything else you wish to ask Going over my notes. <laughs> Is there anything you can do to aid us? I can only offer you information. What's the best way to wait or shed? You feel like kind of a she do, she doesn't laugh, but you feel like a the emotion of you know something like humorous. I I mean I'm kind of a little serious. Uh, do you by any chance know one of the weaknesses of the hex? Well, well she um, she goes like winter shins and she starts prancing around in a counterclockwise circle. James Baxter! <laughs> she goes winter shins. Counterclockwise. Oh, but like, do we just go around them as as people, or do we do something in a Widdershin's fashion? Are you referring to something you want to do? Supposedly, Widdershin's is one of the weaknesses of the hags. And that is but... literally all we really know about it, that little sentence. How amusing to think that someone so vile could have such a ridiculous weakness. I hope it's not fake. That is the rumor we hear. Didn't a unicorn tell you that? I mean, it was it was a uh... I don't I... think I was the one who got the, the, the that information from the Troy carrying you know, around. I, a, a wooden one. Um, yeah. I great great pipes up to uh, make sure there's no confusion. <laughs> they stole my trademark. <laughs> I trademarked the uniform. But, um, she goes, well, that definitely is amusing there. If it was a unicorn who told me, told you wouldn't or otherwise, then they are very wise. I imagine if she is within visual range of someone running winter shins. Might weaken her somehow. Although I have not heard that heard that about Scamp the Nightshade. 
I think it might be on one of the other tags and not Scabatha. Right, if it was, it would be the first one we met. Karen would have gotten the information and it was about yeah, it was, it was about Bad Florina. Okay. Yeah. And we don't know if they uh, if they share the weaknesses. Didn't yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to remember if we all, like, after the horses kind of, like, changed information. Most of you did. Oh, yeah. I, all, all of my, uh, I, all of uh, the information I ended up getting was about Zablina, and uh, Gray was not going to mention that. Well, As you're uh, think... discussing, well, well, she asks, um, "Is there anything else?" I don't. I don't think I have anything else. It was uh, an honor to meet you, uh, to be in the presence of uh, someone as graceful as yourself. She says, um, "She's starts to, like kind of say her goodbyes." It's like, "Well, I wish you." Your best in your quest. Um, I, for one, wish Prismere back in its former condition and possible the return of my mates and uh, Kalzi from the shadows. You see a cloaked figure springs from the forest and with blades flashing attacks the unicorn. Under the assassin's uh, cowl, you see a wide, toothy smile. Is it that dang darkling? Oh, God. So, Kalzi, I want you to roll initiative as this figure comes from the the forest. You see a wooden unicorn headband attached to his forehead. A, uh, well, my first one was a 14, but it didn't post, so 14. 14. Oh. It's gonna be, a some sort of horrible cross between a Nilbog and a, and a, and a red cap. A green cap. Oh, no. Okay, so as it's the Luigi. running out of the forest <laughs> from the mist, lets out this, like, war cry, and, uh, rolled a was it a 14 or a 6? I technically rolled a 14 first, so... Oh, I scab that. Yeah. Yeah. But still, the 6 the six still beat the 5. <laughs> yeah, so... You are able to intercept this thing before it uh, can attack Lamorna. I was like, uh, Oh, watch out! I will go in and put myself between Lamorna and uh, the creature, and I will cast... Command on it. Okay. Sorry, do I have suggestion? No, I'll just do a command. It needs to make a wisdom saving throw. What was an 18? Uh, it passes. And I said, it was, uh, uh, stop! And he doesn't stop. Does not stop. But I put myself But he there. pushes you aside. And one of the daggers is impaled in the uh, unicorn's flank. As she is distra- as she did not notice, she lets out a lets out a whinny. That's what horses do, right? Oh, whinny! Right, right. And uh, let's roll initiative. But you hear, and he's here. It's supposed to be theater of the mind, but this works well enough for a for a battle map. Yep. And water walk still works, uh, and uh, so we don't have to worry about going in there. Yeah, it's good for t- an hour. So. <laughs> I heard a I heard a horse neigh. Yeah. <laughs> Squirt is actually up first. <laughs> she uh, 
He goes, yeah, if only it was full of oil. That yeah, floats away a little bit. Lamorna turns around, kind of in a startled way. Um, like in a kind of a, in a defensive reaction, we'll try to stop on this thing with, his, with their hooves. Ugh, trample. Yep. Which does some damage. And the assassin goes, Playing hard to get. Are you little horsey? That horn will be mine! How's it? Sorry, I was coming in because I opened up a bag of something. Uh, <laughs> a bag of wolf mass. <laughs> I will turn around and I will run away. Yeah, I turn 360 degrees and continue in the direction I'm facing. Now, I will, mm -hmm. um, I haven't looked over like all the crap I can do. Uh, it's been a while. I'm going to just take out my Warhammer and make an attack. Two handed. Or no, one-handed, because I am holding a shield, probably, yeah. 20 to hit. 20 will hit. I'm going to smite as well. So the initial damage is going to be... Ah, nice solid 9. Is the smite a paladin thing? Uh, you're right, I'm sorry, I'm a cleric, not a paladin. It's been a while, sorry. Yes. Take <laughs> me for a fool. Um... <laughs> So yeah, it looks like I just I just do that. <laughs> I'm so I'm so out of it. I haven't done D and D in so long. I, I don't remember how to do things. And this week. is a social character. <laughs> um, you're like, wait, we use dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my child of Indy's not gonna work. Uh, that'll be it. I'll just try and get clo around it. Just try and get between. Um, Try to distract it. So I was like, hey, come after, come pick on someone your own size. Medium. Uh, by the way, uh, I think you skipped Pimner. Oh, I did. I must have hit advance without uh, thinking it was. Oh, no, I did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never known. Alright, <laughs> Loading up my short bow and taking a shot. Well, okay, I'm gonna move over. They don't think I'm like it's that much, but I'm gonna move over to get a clear shot so I'm not shooting through the unicorn trying to <laughs> hit it. And so I'm just gonna go with a regular short bow attack. Um, Th that would be more impressive if you still hit them. Yeah. But okay, so just really quickly, would do you, does everybody think it'd be worth it to use steady aim this turn? Is that when you yeah. take a turn to, like, yeah. basically get advantage on the next one? Yeah. So oh, so it's, so it's, um, uh, it's essentially that, uh, yeah, um, a true strike. Is it's a, a better true strike. <laughs> yeah, just shoot twice. I'd say, yeah, shoot twice. So that's more for, like, if you're aiming, if you're sniping someone from a, as a hitman. You have two attacks now since you're, um... As most yeah. action gives advantage on your attack roll on the current turn. Wait, so, wait, what? As a bonus action, you give yourself advantage on your next attack roll on your current turn. So. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, cool. I'm going to shoot now, and then I'll shoot better later. No, you'll on your next attack, you'll, you'll get advantage. Oh, she didn't need that first one. <laughs> yeah, I get the... Him is a murderer. Twenty six. <laughs> gonna roll for damage. I'm assuming twenty six hits. That definitely I, maybe. <laughs> okay, I just said to check, make sure. Net twenty. I don't know oh, sneak attack damage! Shit. Uh, yeah. There's an ally. 
Next to it. For oh wow! You did, you did 39 damage. I don't. I don't think some of that's real. There's no way that all of that's real. That's real because it's mm -hmm. basically it's piercing damage with your normal attack, and then the critical for that, and then you get sneak attack, and which I critted on. Which you because you critted on it, you get double sneak attack, which is you got 15 on both of those because you're rolling like 3d6 now. Um, wow. So yeah, you rolled 39 damage. <laughs> Apparently shoot him in the throat. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> like right, just straight in the brain. <laughs> well, yeah. What what happens? Um. Hey, since that was a crit with sneak attack. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, like no one even saw Timner get over there. <laughs> like this thing. Like, hits him across the cheek. It basically, like, makes this deep, deep gash into it. Knocks the hood off his, uh, off his head. He has, has this gnarly, like, cut across his cheek. Gnarly, man. Yeah, and, uh... <laughs> He's gonna pick up so much chicks with that. <laughs> and he, uh... He turns to you, Pimner, and he goes, This does not concern you, you clown. Uh, so, I use this, because I have the bonus action steady aim, so I'm going to put another one in and start aiming it at him, and that's the end of my turn. <laughs> um, well, you get two attacks now, with the, as it's your rogue, right? Yeah. What? Yeah. Jeez, okay, so... All right. I gave you a warning shot. <laughs> Cross her nose. That up it. Uh, uh, Sixteen will hit. Oh jeez. You don't get the sneak attack, obviously. So this still looks like a lot of damage. When he gets so sneak six. attack, because an ally is next to him. Only once per. Or, Only once. Uh, okay. Okay, so uh, I just yeah, a six. Six. Okay. There's more where that came from. Uh, not a lot more, but just some. <laughs> this one goes in his kneecap. It's like ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the reverse of what I thought would happen. <laughs> I do want to put up Karen's not on the turn order. I got a six, but it didn't seem to get on there. You just rolled that bad, Sam. <laughs> Gray rolled worse. 4x14, four they're still on there. <laughs> yeah, so... Oh yeah, that was just for a um, it's, it's, it'll, it'll be Astro's turn after after yeah. or something. Uh, what, what kind of uh, rogue are you, by the way? Uh... Oh, it was the thief one, I think. It's the thief mm. wolf. So I got fast hands, and I can Tried climb up true. stuff. Okay. Um, I don't think they end up gaining second attack. I'm double checking. But... Okay. You can look, just look at the character sheet, it'll tell you. I just assumed every. No, I don't think I have it. I, I have. No, she has one attack per action. Oh, because yeah. you're a rogue. They get sneak attack. The sneak attack yeah, yeah. makes up for that. So That's yeah. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, okay. This this level you got uncanny dodge, which is very good. Mm -hmm. Is that what I got? I keep forgetting where to look for things. Yeah, it means that you can use your reaction for anything that hits you. You can have the damage. Oh, I see. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here I am. Got it. Yes. Okay. That's so yeah, our god rogues are a little different because they can do so much damage. That's why they. Mm -hmm. Has sneak attack. Um, so then I aimed it instead of shooting yeah. him. In some, in, yeah. Since you're not close, you can't use your dagger. Most action. Okay. Um, Aster, your turn. Okay. This thing is looking pretty hurt. Yeah. <laughs> so I probably shouldn't bother to hunter's mark, is what you're telling me. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I get two attacks per action. I'll just bust out my longbow. I think I'm far enough away from him. Yeah. Wow, really? 12 for the first hit. That's a miss. Yeah, cool. 
Okay, you have two. Hey, net twenty, baby. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> We're gonna kill everybody. <laughs> that's definitely a hit. Oh, if you only had a hunter's mark. I know, eh? I should have. I should have did my first attack, hunter's mark, and then rolled my second one, but I didn't think of it. Right. Technically, damn. Can't, no, I would have but... steering smited if that was the case. Oh yeah. Oh well. Still, good fourteen. Good hits. He's still alive. Oh, but but again, this one being a crit, like goes through his other cheek. He's like, that's gonna leave a mark. He can't eat food now because his like his mouth is just like. You wanna know how I got these by... scars? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he can't use straws anymore. Thought <laughs> he uh, rolled really bad too. Karen, it's your turn. Alright, so I'm going to get right up next to this fella. Over here. Dumping my way. Ooh, around this unicorn. The other side of Cal Z. And oh, then hi. with my... <laughs> oh, hello there! <laughs> and then with the um, large uh, meat cleaver, I'm going to swing and hit for the... Oh, shoot, I'm going to rage first. Yeah. <laughs> you also can do it at advantage because you're flanking. Um, I, I Joey, do you do flanking? I don't do flanking. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, but they're still like, just how it popped out, like, uninvited. It's just like, ah, excuse you, Rage. And then, uh, Heavy Meat Cleaver. Is it hit? 21 to hit? 21 hits. Right. Okay, so what happens is. After Unicorn takes some damage, gets surprised. She kind of just vanishes away in a, in, a, in a bright flash of light. And she is no longer there. She kind of teleports to safety. But Karen, uh, what do you do with this assassin? <laughs> it was very much like, wait your turn to speak! And then smash, it's like, uh, well, no, can I... Actually, I, I might can... knock it out. Yep, yeah, you can do non-lethal. Now the non-lethal and just make it unconscious? Yep. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. The blunt end of the cleaver. The assassin yeah. goes... It's like... The le the, he goes, um... The League of Malevolence will hear of this and bonk! Yeah. Oh! Birdies! He looks up above and he... Kind of falls over. <laughs> Since he rolled really bad, he couldn't do anything else. Sucks to be him. Right. He said he's from the League of Malviolence. Does that mean he's against violence? Like he believes violence is bad? I I I I would assume so, but I would doubt it because he just tried, tried killing a unicorn. Maybe yes. put that information together. He was also very bad at being violent, so He uh, was. It was yeah. bizarrely but we're also very good too, don't Discredit our own skills. Yeah, good job, Gray. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting out his wand or whatever. It's like what? <laughs> <laughs> I no, Gray doesn't have any weapons. <laughs> Classic I, Gray. I had a dagger, threw it at the rabbit, and it fell in the water. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Well, let's tie. Does anyone have some rope? <coughs> I do have my handkerchief still that are actually still a rope. I I've got adventuring rope. So anyway, just to make sure that maybe we can. He wakes up. He doesn't immediately try to kill us, and then we can ask it some questions nicely or not so nicely, and then um, I don't know, just kind of leave him here. <laughs> I mean. Is there somewhere we could take him? Is there like a, a place that wants people like this? Uh, I mean, what this goes against the rules of of uh, the thing, but they're League of Malevolence. Uh, doesn't it I'm go gonna... against the rules to attack a unicorn? Yeah, I think it goes against every rule. I'm gonna look through his pockets. You think it I counts might... if we make it worse? Like, does it? Is it like two wrongs make it even worse, or is it two wrongs make it right? Uh, is, is it really wrong to attack somebody who has attacked a unicorn? Yeah, I, I'm going to go I, with that one, too. Ask that question to any seven-year-old girl. <laughs> what? In there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, that was a good shot, huh? No, it was, no, it was a great shot. Great shot. Very good. Uh, 
Since when, Hinder? Since when have you become the star of the show? I'm gonna rip the bolt out of his face. Karen's <laughs> jealous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like impaled in there. I mean, take a look at this guy, and yeah. uh, I, you can definitely tell he is orcish in, na in nature. Orcish. Um. Anything in his pockets? I'll show you a picture of him. What a little guy. Okay. I thought he was taller. Yeah, let him go. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Didn't have much of a chance to do anything. Um he has Cut him short. You That's find him there. along with his gear, which um consists of two daggers. He does have a a potion on him. I attempt to identify the potion. Give him some time looking at it, you can see it's a potion of invisibility. Ooh. Pimner, you might be a pre you might appreciate this. I'll give her the potion. Gray, you might appreciate these, and I will not toss him the daggers, but I will give him the daggers. Okay. Carefully. In case you need to throw something away again. Yeah, um, I, I don't really know how to do use these very well, but okay. No, you can make a distraction. Be, just yeah. look tough with them. Aster, I don't. Uh, I didn't find anything for you. Sorry. It's fine. You, you sure? You're the only gift that I need. <laughs> so, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it happen because it's fine. Um, technically, Pimner, you couldn't use steady aim. You moved during the turn. Oh, well, we'll know for next time. Yep. I mean, it's okay. to be fair, yeah, the, it's theater of the mind. So theater like, of the mind, no, um, but like right, he right. made a point of like moving around the, around him. So. I didn't want to shoot the unicorn. Yeah, <laughs> but it, the rule says you have to spend your turn not moving. She's good, though. She's yeah. Good. So, but it, it, it's fine. Well, Pimner, how'd you move all the way over there and shoot? That was amazing. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever be able to do that again. <laughs> you can only do it once per uh, lot of rest. Oh, anything oh, identifiable oh, wait, oh, on oh, the current turn? Never mind. Yeah. Anything identifiable on the orcish to kind of say was there like a, a calling card for the League of Malevolence? Um, I don't think they have business cards. Let's see if there's any symbol or anything. They're not a very good organized uh, evil union, then. Business card is step one. How are you supposed to get the word out? Oh. I mean, that's how the... Uh... I, he doesn't even have a name tag. No. Yes. <laughs> Does he have a good union? Is there such thing as a bad union? Uh, severance pay. Yeah. Have I ever heard about the, the 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 League of Malevolence? It's very unlikely. Can I do the study action to? That doesn't like, what... exist yet, Mark. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, what would you even study? It's the like... fact that he said those words. It's a. This uh, isn't it's a, a play thing. test game. We're playing a serious game. Yeah, it's in playtest material. The the new stuff has the study action where you can study a piece of memory or yeah. other thing. You give me a history check. See if you might have heard. Yeah. Well, wow, let me get that nat twenty. Ah, nine. At your time at sea, um, not much chatter about the League of Benevolence. No. There was the League of uh, Benevolence. The League of Malcontent. Um, but not the League of Malevolence. And the League of Super Pets. League of Super Pets. I mean, the that was... Extraordinary Gentleman. Super Evil. Guild of Calamitous Intent. Well, what do we do now? What do we do with this? Uh, do, we, do we try to get uh, uh, kind of call out to the unicorn? Samorna! 
the unicorn is gone, the myths are starting to reappear. Yeah. Where they dissipated before. I think it's best we not summon her again if there's assassins abound. Oh man, it's pretty rough if they're sending people to kill unicorns. I don't know how long he was waiting out here, like, like. Well, and it's... where where do you get the unicorn horn? Yeah. Does it I... look like the ones from Will? It, uh, you look at it. Um, it is very clearly, like, he took a bit of cloth from his like his hood. He kind of tied a stick around it, like a very hastily carved uh, okay. unicorn hood. But it's self-made. He didn't self -made. like. Will yeah. didn't help him. Yeah. Well, it's something there. Well, what's our what's our next plan of attack? We don't have to fight the the hags anymore. We can find a missing unicorn horn throughout the entire tri area of the Feywild. Well, it might be. Yeah, slightly uh, easier. Uh, you, you take hither, and uh, we'll take. Uh, and we'll take you on. Got to be a way to find it. Got to be right. Yeah. Why would we know about it if we can't find it? <laughs> well, uh, it, Bavlorna was the one that lost it, so it may be back in her realm or somewhere. Uh, nearby her place. And it can also be in the Palace of Hearts, the Heart Palace. True. Yeah. Though I I would think if it was there, she'd remember leaving it there. I mean, you saw how messy her place was. True. The first tag we visited did have that unopenable cabinet. And where better to... to... Hide horn from your sister than an unopenable cabinet. Drew, I couldn't pick the lock. I don't even think there was a lock. Making it very hard to pick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do we head to the third area? Do we just go to Yond and then... We need to get the Bruegel oil first. Yeah, yeah so that way... The... I forgot his name. Squirt. What is Squirt? I was going to say Sloshy, but I knew that wasn't right. <laughs> no, that's a band from Homestar. Because <laughs> um, we're well, going to get you to the portrait, and then and and then on the way back, we can um, help Will get all the kids away from Scabatha and then head back to the Florina and find the unicorn horn. Yeah, he might be wait waiting for us by now. You'll probably have to go Oop. back to Little Oak so you can, you know, make a plan. Yeah. I think we we made a plan, it's just I think we delayed it for a bit. Yeah. We had time, so we're going to check this place out. We learned some good information. So I think. So as you're talking, I'm assuming you're still on the shore of the lake. The, um, the orc begins to groan, like, Ugh. hit me on the head. Uh, that would be the queen. Queen? Point he, Karen. he starts to struggle. It's like, <laughs> uh, God, what did you time me up for? Come on. We, would we would like to know what the hay is going on. Doesn't concern you after the unicorn. Okay. Yeah, but mm, uh, you're tied up and we aren't, so we get to ask the questions here. Kind of up to you how this all goes. So, can you tell us about that group you're in? Say, what, the League? Yes, yeah, so that sounds wonderful. What's it all about? You never heard of the League? We're no, very, I haven't. We're, we're very famous. R okay. Remind me about what. 
I've heard some really bad rumors about them that they were very kind of smelly, and we want to clear that up. So tell us all about the League of Malevolence. I don't have to tell you nothing. At, from, like, behind Kalzi, they'll just hear Aster stringing a bow or an arrow and pulling it back. Or you could. Well, just... you're gonna kill me just for some information? I've killed for far less. It's it's true, he has. He has. Yeah, uh, he has. Literally killed somebody for a candy apple. Don't test me. It's like, well, listen, I, I don't blame you for fighting back. I kind of had, I kind of gave you a little scare, you know. Rawr. <laughs> but just let me go. I have no beef with you. Or you could tell us what you were going and to I'm, do. Answer your question, I guess. Saying thanks, I guess. Why would you want to kill a unicorn? Don't want to kill the unicorn. Just eat his horn. How, how does stabbing it get you a horn? Uh, yeah. Well, when it's distracted from the pain, it's going to make my move. It just it teleported away. Because you were the worst at this. Because you guys distracted me. You know what? I think you were sent on a snipe hunt. I think your league was giving you a little bit of funsies, and they wanted to make you out to be the fool. You don't know what magic's in a unicorn horn, do you? Oh, I think. Trust me. Plenty idea. This was no snipe hunt. Did you follow us? Of course, I followed you. Yeah. That's what I thought. Can't get, so what do you this, want? can't get through this damn fog. Then I see you guys in your ridiculous outfits. Walk right through it. And I was like, I can make one of those stupid horns. Sounds to me like you're jealous. It does. I, I know mean, jealousy when I hear it. I mean, look at this horn. And I, I hold it up. It's, it's, it's pathetic. Toss it into the water. It invokes pathos. Hey, it worked, didn't it? Karen is getting such a look from Gray for that one. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you need the corn for? Did you need the corn for? <laughs> horn. What's well, really none of your business. Oh, I think it is. All I know is the League needed it. So, is it me? And you're going to go back empty-headed? Didn't sound like they had much faith. Yeah. No, I, I meant that literally, by the way. You were going back without your hands, unless you tell us what we're doing. Told you, it's after a unicorn horse. Uh, all right, I guess we'll keep you one hand for that. You you decide which one you want to keep. Look, I told you. It's after you the damn unicorn horn. You don't know why they want the horn, do you? I don't keep up with their magic mumbo jumbo. All I know is they had one. They don't and anymore. They, they need another one. So they said. Did they me. lose it by chance? The, tell tell me, um are the hags members of this? No. Really, because they lost one too. Feels they're not a part of it. Work with them. That's good enough. So, don't suppose you know where they lost it. It's like, hey man, I wasn't in the palace when it got frozen. So, I don't know what's going on there. Got my no orders. Fit. I got my orders from, you know, from the outside. Fair enough. So, uh, here's one more question for you. Where, if you did get the horn... Where were you going to take it? Yes. Guess the palace. That's where they're all staying. Palace was frozen, you said? 
we we kind of already know that. I, I missed that then. That was like the one. Like so, let's answer your questions. Let me go. No offense. Aster. You seem like you're real sh Yes. I was gonna say, go ahead and yeah, he points the, them. Points the pinder. That one just got a lucky shot as all. Well. Almost will... like it should have technically never happened. I will take your eye out. <laughs> I will even let it go from my ball, just take the arrow stab it right into your eye. <laughs> he starts laughing, it's like, I like this one. You wanna join the league? It's like you don't take two shits from no one. No, because you're frankly quite shite at your job. <laughs> I think you're like the worst possible assassin that they could have sent. Guess I misjudged. Thought you were all distracted. First, first of all, you couldn't even like gate the unicorn at all. You followed us poorly, my I add. And then also like you let it, you let yourself get hogtied. And you don't even know what it is that they need the item for. Terrible. You, you really closer. should ask. You really should ask more questions from your uh, from your uh, hey, employer. Who like what's the name of your employer? I'd really like to talk. Oh god, I feel like I'm turning into Karen now. I'd really like. Yeah, to you gotta you gotta employer. go talk to his manager. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> what's his name by chance? Their name? Um, it says I don't need to tell you anything. We agreed I'll answer your question about the horn, and you will let me go. Well, this has to do with the horn, don't answer you Answer our questions. Mm, well, listen. Is the horn. Does it really matter well, who's in the league? They know, they, they know every single detail about them. I mean, you want to know about <laughs> a te Bill, a textbook. who, like, you want to know about Bill, who, like, sweeps the floors of our evil headquarters? Like, come on. Yes, if you're going to actually, no, if you're going to provide all that information, yes, I would like it. Thank you, actually, it's quite helpful. Bill did is he not the one just, who sweeps the floors? Yeah, did, did he not just offer to give us the names of everybody that he works with? I, I believe so, I heard mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Make, make me um intimidation check. <laughs> who, me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, piss. I mean, yeah, you're the one You're the one who's threatened to freaking yeah. cut, take his eye out. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Oh, the guy you shoot a nice bow, but I don't need to tell you anything. Can I shoot? I'm just gonna walk in between the two of them and just be like, "But you, not even a sir, you must tell me everything." Oh, Karen! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, my whatever. plus six roll. I thought it was gonna be better than that. <laughs> well, that was unclimactic. Ah, uh, anticlimactic. Listen, oh, you I, know what? He'll probably I, tra get I trained lost. for torture. I w can I please shoot an arrow into his leg? <laughs> sure. Can I attempt to shoot an arrow into his leg? I just I'm not gonna stop you. Yeah. Oh, for thirteen. <laughs> he is restrained. He is prone though. Oh, so uh... does that mean? I... Does that mean advantage? Mean? Adv oh, please. Maybe. God. Is that what it is? Advantage. Yeah, he's prone. All right. yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll hand Aster one of the daggers. <laughs> no, I'm a terrible. I'm so much better with my bow. <laughs> um, is prone at, with strange. advantage? Or no? If you're prone, then it's a disadvantage. If you're doing if your he's bow. Prone? Yeah. Oh, piss. Well, I have a short sword. Yeah. <laughs> I can just. Uh, uh, if the attacker. <laughs> if he's restrained, you can't really dodge or anything, so if you want to hit him... You can I, honestly, I think a miss would be even more intimidating, yeah. especially where you miss. Oh, yeah, no, that's a good point. Thank you, Gray, for yeah. flavoring that. It's gonna go right between his crotch. And with the 13... I, I think you meant legs. Right, yeah. <laughs> right, right at his crotch, between his legs. Sorry, thank you. <laughs> you definitely hit him between the legs. It's like, you know... Like several inches from the crotch, mm -hmm, but it still mm -hmm. gets his attention. He's saying, You're serious, I, you're gonna kill me for this or this. I missed on purpose. Just tell us the name of who you work for. Like the leader, the head honcho. That's all we want. She's like, Fine. His name's Kalik. 
Insight check. <laughs> sure. Natural one. It's oh, Keller. For <laughs> sake. Oh, We're trying to be all Keller. tough and like <laughs> the the one time we actually get to use all of like our intimidation and yeah. shit. <laughs> like, I, I, like we just came off a whole bunch of nat twenty, oh, so it's going to yeah. happen. God. See, this is like yeah, his name's Keller. See, it doesn't mean nothing to you. I don't know that. It. Actually. All right, let him go. Useless. Uh, I feel no, like we can... should probably just break his thumbs or something just to make sure he can't assassinate someone again. Can well, he was shit him... anyway. Can we, get him... true. can we get him out of the mist so we can't hurt the unicorn anymore? Like, oh, yeah, let, let's, him. like, drag him back halfway and then just kind of... Yeah. Like... can carry him. Karen, <laughs> Karen, you can drag him, but you have water walk, so he'll be in the water and you'll be on top of it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Basically, when you. What, what, well, what I don't know, because I'm tall and he's short if he'll get in the water that much. <laughs> when you throw somebody off the back of a uh, a, a, a boat, like a galleon, and drag them along, basically yeah, yeah, what's going yeah. on. Like a normal person would. Like, yeah, um. Okay, sorry, what are you, what are you doing here? You're, uh. Just getting him out of yeah. the area so he'd have to re enter. Yeah. It's like, like, listen. Maybe I could be persuaded. To give up this hunt of the unicorn horns. Like, doesn't mean nothing to me. But for the right price. I'm not paying you nothing. But, like, do you well, want I'm just curious because it's not money. What is it? I'm just, mm. what is this? Is it another job? We have a lot of jobs on our to do list right now. No. Let's give me enough coin. Or I can find some. I'll leave you. Know, don't forget that I had orders. Let's leave it at that. Where's that man who makes. Magic things that is sorrowful gold. Oh, 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 oh! Almost directly southwest. <laughs> there is a guy who you would be helping if maybe you took it. This wants me to take his gold? Maybe, but he also might give you a gift for showing up, so not much to lose. I was like, where is this? Foolish man who gives away its gold. What? Exact, exactly where Grace said, because I can't remember. <laughs> Cave so, southwest, southwest of here. Yeah. It, it's, it's glowing with gold, so you won't miss it. It sticks out against the trees. Yeah. yeah if you're worried, you're not going to shoot me in the back. No. I'm leaving, I mean, right? scout's on there. You're a scout? Had to boost it. So I can just tell my boss that wasn't able to get through the mist, say. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Alright. Pulls up his well, arms. I haven't untied you yet. How'd you do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why Nanny, like, kind of tries to... Oh, to, like, hold it up to yeah. get it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess you get your rope back, Kelsey. Yeah, it's in two pieces now. Yeah. I don't. I don't think you had to cut it. And it's fifty feet of rope. I mean, you're not gonna just use the entire fifty feet on somebody. That's that's a lot. Oh wait, we were supposed to tie it. <laughs> <laughs> just weighs him down with fifty feet. Uh, 50 feet. <laughs> you untie? Oh. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, Carrick might be disappointed didn't get that horn. Apparently he needed it for something special, but... Carrick? I thought you said it was Kellogg. Have you been lying to us? Was it Carrick? It's Kellogg. But okay. It's like, I think you just... It's like you liar. Sounds... <laughs> it's, the, it's the thick Feywild accent. Yeah. yeah. Like so... so? <laughs> it's like nice yeah, knowing you, I guess. Anyone who can get a hit on me, I guess I have to have some sort of respect. Yeah, yeah, sorry about your fees. Yeah, you may want to look into how to get those bolts removed. Yeah, it really hurts. Yeah, don't yeah. don't pull them out yourself though, because then you might yeah. like actually bleed out and die. <laughs> so it, honestly, it might be safer just to push it all the way through. Oh, 
hope you, you were just you're talking split. about just carving his eye out. You gotta snap <laughs> it and then drag it through so you don't drag the feathers through. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, good luck with that. Yeah. Those yes. weren't the poisoned ones, Pim, there, right? Yeah, they, they probably weren't. All right, let's go. He just starts walking away. It's like, yeah, jeez, what a day. Eh, it's 11. That's all <laughs> You know, oh, it's, not every, it's not every day you see a unicorn and then see somebody try to kill a unicorn. Who would do that? Uh, apparently the League of Malevolence. So I have a uh, supplement um, that suggests making that character more powerful. Mm. Because, like, apparently, like, in the book, he's, like, a pushover for characters this level. Um, <laughs> but I, I guess it didn't matter much. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, a freaking crit on a crit with a um, sneak attack. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I will say that we have achieved uh, a, a, at least one major victory. We we went that entire scene without once making a reference to Charlie the Unicorn. <laughs> That's true. You player it on, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. <laughs> oh, one thing. Uh, just I noticed is I never rolled advantage on that. That was my first roll was the one with the crit. Yep. That's, yeah. Yeah. So there was no steady aim on it. Yep. Oh shoot. That's what you did. You shot. Shot from the hip. Yeah. All right. All right. So what's our uh, what's uh, our plan of attack? Where are we going next? Uh, mm -hmm. Back to Little Oak, I think. I I'm gonna talk so. to Will about delaying the plan so we can get to Yawn and back. So. Karen and Gray are able to get their thing done so they they won't get cursed. We have to go to Loom Large if we want to find one of those boggy thingies for the oil. Well, couldn't we, like, go to Little Oak? We still have, like, what, six days? Right? Well, that, right. Track, though, yeah. not me. <laughs> uh, go, back, go back to Little Oak. Tell, talk to Will about the plan. Do the plan at Loom Large. Get that sorted, and then go to Yon. I mean... I mean, the plan at Loom Large was to fight the hag. Well, we don't have to fight her now, though. We could just do the whole, like, diversion. Like, oh, no, all these kids, it's crazy. Isn't that whale? Whoa, whoa. And, you know. <laughs> we oh, may even be able to steal the portrait while, while we're at it. Mm -hmm. That's true. I mean, it's good as good a plan as ever. No, no, the Unicorn did say it's like, you know, if the hags were to be killed, like, it wouldn't be a bad thing. No. That's true. But I don't know how powerful a hag is, and I am level five. <laughs> oh, that's the worst that could happen. CR fifteen. Let's go. <laughs> What's that? A Tarask? Eh, it's probably <laughs> push over. <laughs> I got some doggy treats. It'll be fine. Mm. Oh, all right. Let's head up a little oak and see if we can just. We can go a, from a, there, a, right? Like, yeah, I don't, break I don't out. Want, yeah, I don't really want the kids to have to be there any longer that, than they have to, but like, yeah, you know, Fast I feel travel. like it's gonna take more time going all the way from here to yawn and then go all the way back to hither, and then come all the way back here. It's just so much, right? Oh, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> the Feywild. Fire brigade is out. Uh oh, <laughs> the tree's on fire. Stop, stop making all those sounds, Squirt. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I do that when I'm nervous. Yeah. Imagine what sounds like made for full of oil. <laughs> ah, keep I, bringing up I, that oil. I, oh God. <sighs> it's got a healthy obsession. I just love oil. Oil, oil, oil. And I still want to cast Tasha Sidious Laughter on the big treant that has buildings in its thing. But I'm not going to. I'm going to resist the urge. <laughs> Alright, you return to Little Oak. You see, uh, kids playing around with Star and Little Oak hanging off his branches and stuff. And Will's kind of watching him. He turns to you and it's like, Ah, oh, back already? That didn't take long. Who wants to? Who wants to give the story? Yeah. So what a little was. What did Miss uh, uh, Go Two Shoes say? All right. 
I'll do it. I'll do it. Well, we got a little bit of things there. Um, turns out that we don't. They're missing a horn. The hags are missing a horn. The unicorn is missing a horn. And the horn is seemingly tied to what has trapped Zoblina somewhere that has let the hags reign supreme. If we can find this unicorn horn, we can probably not only save the rest of the lost boys, but free the rest of this part of the Feywild. Oh, and there's also another group after yes. the horn as well. Yes. Another that was group. the other thing. That, that we saw the unicorn and then the unicorn got stabbed. They're okay, as far as we can tell. But they got stabbed. Who's the League of Malevolence? Yes. And he kind of turns serious and he just goes... Honestly, I'm not sure. He kept playing it up like it was something big and famous. Like, maybe I heard something when I was with the hag? It was orcish. It was an orc person, or somewhat of a half-orc. Did that ring a bell? One of the little kids runs up. It's like... Okay. Oh, I heard Granny talk about her. I talk about something about a league. Kel Kel Kellogg? Kel 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 what the f what was his name? Uh, it was it was changing every couple of minutes. Which Kellick. Is... Kellick. But Kellick and Kelrick <laughs> is not that different. The <laughs> <laughs> one looking at it, but it's it's a, the, the leader was a man. Yeah, Kellick. We also did get his name. That was probably bad on our part. Eh. Save them. So, yeah, apparently, like, the League of Malevolence um, helped the hags, uh, like, become powerful. Like, or the League is a League with the hags? So, yeah, I hear them talk about it every once in a while. You know anything else about it? Do they have regular meetings there? Do they talk? Did they? Do they know? You know where? Any anything at all? They heard they had a big fight with this other group called Valor's Call. I haven't heard of them either. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think one of them was actually locked up in the kitchen. That was there. We didn't go into the kitchen when we were there. No. Someone was a little too impatient to uh, to leave. I wanted my my legs. And if we didn't hurry up, we would have never met. I forgot. I already forgot my grandpa's yes, yes. name. Winterbow. Winterbow. Winter. Roundup. Winter. Roundup. We'll get runs away. Okay. Okay. Exposition over. Woo -woo -woo. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to imagine he's like five years old. So anytime that you mess up and saying a word, Joey, it's just it's just a little kid being like, I don't know how to say words. Come on, they are seven. <laughs> <laughs> Seven and Feywild years. <sighs> well, that's that's a thing. So we we know there's a unicorn horn out there, and we don't know where to find it. We know there's a league of malevolence that is in league with the league of the hags. Yeah, and we don't know where up. to find them. Get your name straight, dude. We need to get to your yard, yond, and we yard. don't know how to get there until we get a boggle. Boggle oil, baby! Okay, okay oh, don't touch me, please. <laughs> His favorite! <laughs> <laughs> I think we have multiple ways of uh, proceeding here. So, whether you want to kill Granny is up to you. My plan is just to distract her. Save the kids. And hopefully come out alive. Now I'm willing to use myself as bait. I think I owe him that much after after everything. If you want to kind of perks up. 
you want to put a knife in her back, it's up to you. Kelsey kind of parks up and be like, this might be what we need. This might help us in a couple more ways. We turn you over. I get my legs back. We basically are distract the hag and let you do your great escape. And uh, we just continue from there, finding the horde and then taking them down later. We don't even have to fight them right now or even ever. And I got my legs back. He looks a little grim for a hurt. moment, saying, I think once Granny has me, it may be difficult to get me back unless you act immediately. And he's like super serious about this. Yeah. Yeah. And Kelsey just kind of like sighs. And or like, else. Yeah. It's I can't. Gonna be that easy. I don't know what will happen if right. I'm in her possession again. Maybe uh, it just makes me think of that little pig girl you guys talk about so much. Could be very bad for you. I will insist that she uh, turns a, a, uh, she does her end of the deal uh, before uh, whatever she plans to do with you. And if she doesn't, then we uh, we uh, you escape before she can. You're talking about the, the lost items that, the, that she promised you? I no, my it, lost item. Yeah, I, uh, oh, as yeah, in like a, agree to fix uh, Kalzi, uh before uh, like taking custody of him. I look over at Gray. Think I'm broken? Uh, you're missing a part of you. Well, I mean, I had replacement parts. If you could, yeah, if you could, you really should take her, off that costume. She, 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 yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah. Take you look ridiculous. <laughs> Other kids want to use it. <laughs> All right. So if you can convince Granny to return your lost item before she does anything with me, that would be good. But if not, we just... Either... I don't see how that helps yeah. us free the, the kids. That's just, well... What do we do otherwise? We, we give you to her, and then... Ha you're, as, you're the bait, but... We distract you? We just use you as the distraction, even though you're the bait? I think... how, how do we free the kids? Yes. Well... They're not on chains or anything, at least that I know of. It's just a matter of making sure Granny's not there when they escape. That's hence the distraction. If some of you stay behind, then maybe you can help me free everyone while Kalsey here goes with Granny retrieve his legs. Well, I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, I you you overpowered us. Oh no. Ah. But but it's very important she can't take possession of me. I mean she can't touch she you. She can't. Item. Okay. Once she claims me as hers again. It how won't, does, it, how won't, she, it won't be good if that happens. How does she claim you? Does she have to touch you? Is there a ritual? Does it just it's magic? Like, does it's she like the think ownership. it happens? It's like the ownership. We we have to hand him over. Uh, yeah. it, it like like a like a purchase deal kind of thing. Like so, if you accept the reward for my capture. From one of those ridiculous posters, though it did get my good side. It did. Um, very accurate. Uh, then she will consider the transaction complete, and she's going to be very insistent that it happens. And she should probably bring one of those posters with you. Otherwise, uh, she'll just tore the other one up. She'll just consider it. 
or a gift. I tore one of them up. We had two of them, didn't we? Yeah. What was the first? Uh, we had two. They each had a different reward. But she did also say that she did also say that bringing you in would right, give so us you the thing. tore up the first one. Oh, that's right. They're in our whatever. So I'm just gonna take this out of your thing. You have two no others. Sword, if you no can... sword can break your skin. Bring me the imp live and unharmed, and I'll bury you up to your neck in silver. Which seems bad, but she also did just tell us the deal. We don't have to be beholden to these weirdly specific. You, oh, that's right. Um. She may consider the return of the item the payment. Yes. Okay. Well, if that's the case, that might be... If you don't get... If that's the case, then... She'll probably... You'll, you're you're going to need to get your legs back first before she consider the transaction complete. If yes. you can keep me separated from her during that time, uh, then uh, it won't happen. Say it I won't happen immediately. Get my legs out. I'll need a trial run around the yard to make sure they're my legs and not somebody else's. Skipping on the deal, giving me a different different legs back. Guess it's possible. If not, we just. All I know is that she keeps the items in her in her bedroom somewhere. Maybe we sneak around first. Uh, do we even need to sneak around? It's it's if we're welcomed into their home, we can go look everywhere. To be fair, you did just give him a portion of invisibility as well. It's true. Because of the rules, um, you pr pretty much have free reign in the place unless they catch you stealing. Just don't take anything. And there's no rules against locked doors, but if you are sneaking someplace you're not supposed to, then they may she may Hold take on. umbrage to it. Potion of visibility, huh? And yep. you need to escape. He had, a, he had a potion of visibility this whole time? That will no, we just great. got it. That'll we just great. got it from the assassin. That was gonna also give you this potion this pixie dust, which would make you fly. Oh, that'll be well, no, now you want the invisibility. So. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I've never flown before. Okay. So here's the thing. We, we keep the invisibility potion so Pimner can sneak around at some point. Because she will be... No one will ever be able to find her. Right. And... If, if she comes back and I'm not there, she's not going to be happy. No. It's not exactly our fault, though. That's the case. Yeah. I don't remember making any pact to keep you there. Oh, just to bring you back. If you manage to ways escape... Long ways this can go wrong. She's not going to let me out of her sight. Till if that doesn't done. work, then do we, do we just attack? I, I say give him the potion. Out of your sight. At her sight, huh? Yeah. Good idea. Pim offers the potion. Takes it. Um, tosses it in the okay. air. Little flip. Grabs it and lay down. Sand. <laughs> don't, don't drink it right now! No, I'm not going to drink it right now. <laughs> I'll also hand over the pixie dust. Oh, okay. As that is not a spell that's being cast or any concentration or whatever. You just fly for... You can fly for a minute. One minute. Just go straight up. And so then you will... You're just going to walk in with with me in chains, or do you want to look around the place first? We keep not looking around. Maybe we should look around a little bit. How about two of us go, go in a little ahead and just say, our, we found... Uh, what was the kid's name? Lee? Will. I keep thinking Lee. Will. 
different thing. We, we found Will, and our compatriots, the ones that aren't here, are bringing him in. But they had to take the scenic route. Um, I can go right ahead and sneak around and look around at things if you want. Yeah. I just have someone else there to play protectsies, just in case things go bad. Get back up for Pivner. I'll follow. Okay. Yeah, because she's really polite, she's gonna have to take you she in as a She will give you lots of biscuits. Just sit there drinking tea. <laughs> I can drink tea. And, uh, she keep her complacent. It's like... Make sure to have lots of small talk. Yep. So... Who's gonna bring in Will? Like, who's gonna make the first... It feels like it makes sense that Kalzi's the one that does it. Yeah. But, because uh, he has to go off to get the legs. So, uh, so, uh, oh, uh, so maybe... Probably could... Aster could carry... Or, or, uh, or Karen can uh, be the one actually holding him. Yeah, Karen can actually hold him. She's so good with kids. Yes. So good. So, so Karen and Kalzi will come in later. And Pimner, Gray, and Aster will... Um, go to Granny first. Just be there. Snoop. At five, ten minutes ahead. Snoop around. Does, does any of you, do any of you have message or sending or anything? Absolutely not. No. No. Do we, have, we don't have any walkie-talkie stones. I mean, one of the kids pipes up, it's like, you know, like, we were gonna, like, cause a distraction. If you get close to the scarecrows near the back, then, like, they scream bloody murder. And uh, that's how we were going to strike her in the first place, so if you, 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 know, you need us to do that, we can still do that. Yeah, I mean, that'd be a way to do it. More chaos, more, more chaos the merrier. Yes. Like we'll need a signal or something. Um, what's a good signal? Oh, if only we had Skyright. Uh, um, <laughs> here, uh, uh, end up. I, uh, I really didn't want to do this. Uh, ends up um, basically taking one of the knives and uh, chipping off. It just like uh, basically trims off an edge of a fingernail. Uh. And ha- not, they're, they, not bloody, but uh, just hands it uh, gingerly to, to one of the kids. Uh, when it is time, hold, er, hold that, and when it is time, you will hear me say uh, say it's time. Little or girl is like, fingernail, like, give, give me. She like grabs it and saying, what now? What's going to happen? Uh, I can talk to you through it. No way. Yeah, huh? Do it then. Do it now. I can only do it so many times. Well, how many times can you do it? Actually, that's a good question. Uh, oh, wait, no. Oh. Never mind. It doesn't apparently have a um, uh, limit. Oh, wait. Um, Is it that whoever's holding it can, like... Oh, wait. Oh, it's, I can only create one uh, one time. But I can use it uh, as much as I want. So, uh, she, uh, so... Uh, Gray just grins, and uh, their voice uh, is uh, echoed into the pi- the kid's head uh, whenever I want. He goes, okay, if that's true, how many fingers am I holding up behind my back? Um, is it the hand? Uh, put both hands behind your back. Yeah, how many fingers? Well, the other kids, that's not how it works. Uh, I, I say how many. Because I can, I, um, I, I also ha- have the ability to look through it. So I can no. actually see the hand. <laughs> it's like, whoa. So, like, <laughs> the little fingernail 
It's like a live all you can see through? Uh, yeah, essentially. It's it's like a scrying device. Ooh. That could be useful. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah, so what, what's the signal going to be? What kind of animal sound are you going to make? Because that's all, all signals are animal sounds. Good point. Um, I guess a, yeah, a quack. Like a, like a honk or a, a quack? Uh, just go with a quack. quack. Nice okay. and basic. Okay, do it now. Although if you hear a honk also, you know, we'll say any duck animal sound. Any sort of duck or goose. Because then no, you know duck. something, you know something foul is afoot. Yes. Th- th- <sighs> Thank Very you, Pepe. Nice. <laughs> so if I hear footsteps, duck. If I hear duck footsteps, well, no, the the duck's not making the sound. The feet are making the sound. Technically, the grass is making the sound, or whatever ground is. Just sorry, sorry, that was my fault. Just focus on the quack. Yes. Okay. How how many? One one quack, two quacks. Um, is there anybody else here who knows how to like just take a signal? Anybody? Any of the other kids? Bobby, Lone. Will just kind of laughs like it's too late. She uh, has it. Uh, two quacks. Two quacks. I am writing this down. <laughs> it's a good idea. All right. When we hear the quacks, we'll run towards the scarecrows, and they'll start screaming. And all the tin soldiers will come our way. And uh, you know, maybe it will distract granny enough depending on what she's doing what's more important I suppose yes if we're lucky everybody gets what they want except, except her the it's gonna be except the granny except her well, well goes um it's like well like I said a million things can go wrong but you know it's worth a shot I like taking risk I admire the bravery, young man. Damn it. Damn it. I don't have ceremony prepared. Damn, that would have been so good. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. Oh, oh, I can prepare one more spell. I didn't prepare all my spells. Can I say that I had... Why? Ceremony prepared, yeah. Joey? You had one Where more are you going to marry? <laughs> yeah, you had uh, one uh, spell slot you didn't fill up. I have one more prepared spell that I did not fill up. Apparently. Yeah, go ahead. And I would like to thank you, Joey, and I would like to, as a ritual, cast Ceremony. If you may. And I would like to cast yeah. the Coming of Age. If we'll permit um. me. So specifically, you touch one humanoid who is a young adult for the next 24 hours. Whether the target makes an ability check, it can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to the ability check. It can only benefit from this right once, but for the next 24 hours, he is blessed. Or not blessed, but um, this, this work on, guided. like, children? I touch one humanoid who is a young adult. Is he a child or a young adult? This is sort of like with coming in age, I imagine it's the uh, adolescence. Okay, you touch him. It's like, you know what? Today you are a man. Nothing happens. And Will kind of like gives you a look. Yeah. It's like, what are you doing? Oh. Nope. Yeah, I thought that would work. It's like, what are you doing? It's like, really like, old man. It's like, whatever. Will, how old are you? Twelve. Insight check. How long have you been 12? <laughs> hey, I rolled a 12, but got a 19. <laughs> Listen, we're all a little older in the Feywild than we appear. You know? 19 for my uh, insight. Yeah, she says, so like, Listen, it's the Feywild. It's like, you know, time kind of stops here. Uh, like, uh, how, how long ago did Star go missing? And it's there's still a kitten? Like, years. Yeah. How, how long? How long has the treant been here? Oh, 
Probably forever. Oh my gosh. Um, with a 19, though, um, even with his exclamation, it's like he's, you know, yeah, it's a pretty good excuse. You know. Yeah. He's 12, but like, he seemed really, like, um, surprised at what you were doing. Because you probably well, told them like what would happen, like I'm doing this because because it took me ten minutes to prepare the ritual. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. I, I don't think I'm good with kids. Or there's adults. a knack to it. You want yeah. the kids goes up it's like I look nine, but you know I've actually uh, feel a lot older than that because I've been here. For years. It's like, yeah, listen to the kid. Do you, uh, do you all want to leave Baywild? So if I get to see my parents again, then yeah. You know how time is sort of different between the Feywild and and yeah, I the... just said I look nine, but I'm actually older. Uh, we, we might have to have a talk later. Okay. I mean, that seems right to me. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, what I'm trying to say, and I'll, I'll get to this, is like, their parents have also aged. And if time is different, because I was eight when I left here. <laughs> yeah, and like... Now I'm, I guess, a hundred and a hundred twenty-four year old elf yeah, or know, something like, like that. I think I mentioned yeah, before, I know it's it's weird, like with these, <laughs> uh, with like elves and stuff, because the book says yeah. eight years, but like that means like you're a baby. <laughs> right, it's like um, uh, like the old um, uh, like kidnapped by Fay uh, uh, stories and stuff like that, where they're uh, they're borrowed by uh, by a uh, by Fay and. According to the kid, it's only like a year passes, but then they come back and it's like uh, their uh, their grand uh, uh, or like um, their sister or something has already had kids and stuff like that. It's like like fifty or uh, two hundred years have passed, kind of thing. Yeah. Rip Rip Van Winkle. Yeah. Well, like so, I, I turned to everybody else. And I'm like, yeah, their 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 parents are probably going to be older too. What do the kids say? I want to be lucky for 24 hours. Uh, uh, uh gather around, no, it's 10 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, casting time, one hour, so it takes an hour and 10 minutes to cast ceremony. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're just gonna put your hand on him yeah. for an hour. So, uh, I'm gonna break on a little bit, like when he says, like, he just, he, he, would, he would tell you, it's like, I wouldn't waste your time. I mean, I'd, if I mean, but it would take an hour to do it. He'd probably you'll like, still get the same insight that you got before. Yeah, yeah. I don't use it because it's ritual. I don't use up any resources or whatnot. Just time. But the one the little girl holding the uh, toenail is like, I want to be lucky. I have a very important job. <sighs> You're right. Toenail, I'll go ahead. <laughs> Ask the ritual. You guys might want to take a short rest. I don't think anyone really used anything, but. Uh, well, this is happening, you take a short rest, and uh, Zenor the orc, uh, what is it, gets advantage on something? Gets, she basically is uh, guided permanently for 24 hours on an ability check. Okay. That's well, like a d4. Yep. Next 24 hours, whenever the target makes an ability check, you can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to an ability check. So it doesn't work on her. She's like, wow, I feel better. I feel lucky already. I Good know. thing I didn't, uh, I don't know, I didn't I don't suggest you have. I don't, know, I don't know why you didn't want this. Uh, you didn't want this. Well, we're about the same age. And she asked us away. Oh, I'm going to try it out I, right now. I have a nail. La, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> hey, show me what you've got. A nail. <laughs> no. No. Oh, we lost someone. Uh-oh. It was. It was Karen. Was... She's taking her short. Can I take a short rest what? too, since we're we're here? I take a short rest. Uh, you just you vanished from roll twenty. Yeah. Oh, did I? 
I am right here. They, they are. It's doing queen so things. Sorry, it was wishful yeah. thinking, I guess. <laughs> okay. I'm still in a rage. Rage! So to uh, kind of reiterate again, you want to um, Pimner, Gray, and Aster will go in first. Um, tell Granny that they captured Will. And then a little later, Kalzi and uh, Karen bringing him as a prisoner. I don't know if yeah. they'll say that, but I know they wanted to at least snoop around. Okay. Yeah, so going early, and so Pim's gonna go look in some bedrooms. Yeah, so you, you, you could probably... Everyone can probably look around if you wanted to, um, and meet Will outside when you're ready to take action. Okay. I'll take that, yeah. Um... So I think we'll maybe spend the rest of the session exploring the place until you're ready to do it. Then we'll we'll call it if everyone's okay with that. That's okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. For me. As long as I don't one shot the or whatever the boss again. Ugh. <laughs> Great. Anyways. Oh, yes. oh, geez. How annoying! I'm so so powerful. It'll be the only time it happens, which is like <laughs> great. I do wonder if in 1D&D &D they're going to keep the, uh, I guess it's on the playtest anymore, but I wonder if they're going to do the, um, like how crits work. Oh, they, they said they were, they were playing, they were playing around yeah. with them. Like they're just trying a couple different things out. Yeah. Like that just felt like too much damage. It kind of does, but also it feels really good <laughs> when you do it. Yeah. Cause like in the new rules, um, the sneak attack damage wouldn't be doubled or crit to um, it would just be the weapon damage yeah but uh, but also you just rolled really good too yeah all right it's good time Better. take a short rest hey okay, short rest for me i don't think anything spend some more time Look and straight towards the lurch. Lurch for the loom. Right. Ask me about loom, lurch. I don't want to tell you about loom. <laughs> I, I I like the fact that um uh the uh, the Brian Moriarty who ma who made that um he is now a professor, so loom is literally made. By Professor Moriarty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. I can't remove the button. I'm more button than man. Oh. <laughs> I love Return to Monkey Island. It's so good. I gotta, yeah, I haven't played any of it yet. I'm waiting until I'm done my job, and then I will play it. Yeah. Well, you could always watch my streams. I will after that, too, because you have good commentary. Yay. Yeah, we'll do a podcast after I'm done. Though, I. Uh, I'm I'm re-recording them for YouTube because um, I, like the first time I did it, I forgot to hit record. Oh no! And no. I, it streamed and stuff like that, but I I usually don't get very good quality just grabbing them from Twitch. Uh, but I re-recorded it and I managed to get an entire hour out of um, uh, my first playthrough uh, because I actually knew what I was supposed to be doing. And I'm probably going to be doing that for the later chapters as well, because uh, I, I know that there's at least an hour and a half of me having no idea what to do. There's just one the joke. fun of those games. <laughs> there's this one joke um, when you're in Wally's uh, map shop, and it's like this really thin map, and Guy Rush goes, Oh, I had a map like that once, but I went left. I don't get that. No. <laughs> The map is no longer useful to him because he, it's, it's tall but not wide. Okay. Uh, Moving on. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I'll take a little five minute break. Okay. Um, you guys, everyone ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Let's kill stuff. Kill stuff. We're not kill stuff. Let's RP stuff. Okay. RP and look for things. Yeah.
Yeah, the only ones that are, the only things that are dying is us. Yeah. Ooh. That's right. Oh, this map is big. And so, like I said, nothing's going to be stopping you from um, exploring at your leisure and starting the the mission when you're ready. So. But let's look around. Still, you don't know what will trigger what. So, it's true. Oh, the stupid black thing's still here. These things. Yeah, sure. It's not on like the map layer. Is it? Right where I am. I, oh yeah, the welcome map. Yeah. What is that? We read it, it says go away. Yeah. Like, I don't even know what layer the thing's on. Is it on the map layer? No, it's not. That's weird. It's either that or it's on one of the special it, layers. But either way, we can ignore it. If it's not on that layer, it might be on one of the others. It could be. It could be <laughs> part of the picture. <laughs> good, good help. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Yes. Anyway. All right, well, Pim, I believe you're up. Here I go. Can I just sneak right? I guess I don't have to sneak. Like, that's yeah. the, the best part. That's true. I don't know why I said you're up if we're all just... Yeah. Either way, you can lead the way. Okay, yeah. Whoa, look, all it's right. got to be on the token layer. Pim was under it, but I'm over it. Well, I can't you're under it for me. That's weird. Everyone's, yeah. mo everyone's moving here. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> By the way. Okay. I, I can't click. I can't select it. Weird. Oh, Alright, well, just something else. Maybe somebody drew a box. Well, I would be able to select it. It's part of the actual, like, art. Anyway. The mystery. It's the mystery yep. of the box. Yeah, that's the artist's signature. Right. <laughs> yeah, so this is the, um, the goblin selling the, the treats. The treats full of bugs. Oh, yeah. Sand. Hi, right, back for more, huh? I'm oh, just uh, paying a polite visit, uh, saying hello, being neighborly. Um, hello. Oh, there. Hi. Oh, hi, Chucklehead. I need to uh, talk to Granny again. Is that why you're here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I can in introduce you. Um, hey, we've already had introductions. I mean, I, I could, like, take you there. No, no, we know the way. You're, you're so busy out here, after all. Yeah, what Grace said. Picks out his apple head. Saying, I can't quite get to the worm. Oh, drive me crazy. Ah, uh, yeah, you should you should work on that. Tells me things, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Don't listen to the worm. Tells me to do bad things, but I ignore them. Oh, that's good. Don't don't do bad things. I don't do bad things anymore. You should tell the worm to do something. Try turning it on its head. Turning the situation on its head. You, you, you're the one in control. You tell the worm what to do. You, the, the worm lives in you. You don't live in the worm. Yes. I think I broke Joey trying to trying to figure out what the. What the... <laughs> uh, cause I, I'm just gonna head inside and just start looking at stuff. Alright, so this is the workshop. See the same, see the kids working there. They're like, oh, they're back. Hey. And then below, so we never really went above or to the side is what I'm getting from yes. the northern door. So. Or any, any of the other sort of areas on what this island. So, this part of start searching. Go through the northern door. Okay. Um, 
And it's it's well, very well, much well, that like Kim's like beelining and she's just like just like looking at things and just not really even having um like social interactions with people. She's just like mm -hmm. it's just like just starts like like right, when you're like browsing. When you walk around a museum yeah. or something like mm -hmm. Oh, um quick question. Uh, did um, uh, did Squirt end up mentioning where around here the uh, the oily ones is? Um, he's he's gonna say it's like I'm sure they're hiding around somewhere. It's got to look hard enough. Okay, so he doesn't know that. I'll keep an eye out. I mean, they're, he says, the boondoggle. Did, did he give us a description of what they look like? He, he says like you don't know much about boogles, do you? No, no. They're usually born. Out of children suffering, so when you see oh, those God. kids around, that means there's probably boogles. Okay, so not oh, like okay. nematodes or something. So, so this is we see a little kid little dressed up as Doug Funny trying to catch a nematode. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Glad you caught the reference. Yep. <laughs> you say, um, one of the kids like, "What are you looking for, boogles?" Yes. They go, they kind of point to the crates around the room, saying, we try not to think about them. They usually hide in the shadows. Uh, Pim gets really nervous around that. You'll, you'll be, you'll be okay, Pimner. I got this. I'm gonna... Oh, look, oh look no, I'm shadow. fine. Don't worry. <laughs> Nothing, I don't know why you think I wouldn't be fine. I'm, you're, I'm you're okay. You talk out loud sometimes, Pim. And also in the third person. <laughs> it's canon now. Uh, I will look into the uh, the boxes while Pim is looking at the door. We're looking at shadows, I should say. I'm sorry, I'm reading ahead here. Like, like, what are you doing? Ah. <laughs> I'm looking at the shadows that the kids pointed to, and Pimner is looking at the door. Okay, give me a investigation check. Investigation? No, wait, I'm sorry. Perception. Oh, good. Well, I'll take my 11 and add a 7 to it, so 18. 18. Okay, so you start looking at the shadows. And like in one of the corners, and um, eventually one of the shadows just kind of moves. And you see like a little squishy little arm pop out of it. I gotta try and grab it. And uh, the three little oily little impish creatures. Kind of like appear from the shadows, and they and they look startled. Uh, uh can we have some of your oil? Let's go. <laughs> I will. I will attempt to tackle one. All right, uh, this one starts to run away. I'm gonna just try and grapple. Okay, strength check. Uh, athletics. Play plus ones. Ah, uh, six. Rolls a 12. You can still... Ah! Uh, this one. I think that's so small, but it's twice as good as you. It's got... It's slippery! This one. Got it! We need their precious oils! Karen, you've done oily jello wrestling, right? It was only that one time, but yes, and I won. Oh, can you can you win again? Oh, probably. And if I don't, then I'm just having an off day. So let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, what did you roll? Sorry, athletics. Uh, I, uh, I did. With, with Joey, what's what happens next? Oh, he rolled higher. So a boom looks like. We need their ambergris. <laughs> Precious so, hamburgers? The, <gasps> There's um, a little teddy bear in the back of their nest. The skulls. <laughs> so, Kalzi, you oh. fail. It, like, you gravel, but he just kind of slips away. Swoop. Yes. 
And uh, he starts running towards the door here. And we'll try to open it, but we're going to start initiative. Here. Okay. Ooh, I got a pretty good one. Ah, thanks for rolling good. Oops. I'm on the way all the way to the other <laughs> side of the room. This is what happens when you walk away. This is how people get lost in grocery stores. <laughs> people? Yes, lots of people get yeah, lost. Here, um, did everyone? I was by that door for a reason. But... Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Sometimes players don't move because they're just not moving around the room. No, 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 no. I was down there, like, because we all kind of walked in, and it was, like, just peeking around, so that's why Astro was on the yeah. other side of the room. Because everybody else went up this way, so he went down here to look. You contrarian. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good old rat battle. This one opens the door and kind of how far away is that? Okay, it's three feet. Yeah, it kind of like walks up the, the room here. Pimner, you can attempt to do something. Grapple. Grapple, okay. You need Put strength. my rape here. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Grapple's face. Uh, so I need to do strength? Yep. Strength roll. Oh my god. What am I doing? Whoa. Oh, that was Aster's initiative. Yeah. I thought Pimner rolled a 22. <laughs> That's not a 22. Yeah, I have a negative two strength. Yeah. I will not grab anything. <laughs> okay, you managed to grapple. It's Boogle. Oh! oh. Boogle. Tells you he rolled Boogle. worse. Hey, I, I think I got it. Scrabble just squirming around going, ah, 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 ah. Squirt, squirt, come over uh, here. Do I just stick him in? Or... Said squeeze him. Oh, it's going to take him two turns to dash up here. There he goes. <laughs> um, oh, that'd be great. All right, Pimner, it's actually your turn now. Uh, I would like to do squeeze action. Into squirt the oil can. <laughs> That's one of the new D and D one one D and D uh, test actions. Squeeze. Squirt goes up. What are you gonna have to hold me? Keep me steady. Yeah, you can hover. Ah. I know, but you be steady. Open me up. Open me up. Up the oil. Up. I'll I'll do it. Uh, um, what you I'm have right to there. I uh, hold action, I guess. Yeah, so I'm gonna just stand a little bit closer to Squirt, and that's the end of my turn. Right. Um, yeah, sir, it'll be your turn, but like, she's just on the lookout. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, he'll just look out. Yeah, because like, whoa, they're Aster, they're fighting <laughs> the Boogles. Boggles. Aster's boogles. like, yeah, yeah, I see it done a ton of times. Yeah, <laughs> see one Boogle fight, you've seen them all. <laughs> Hey, Kelsey, you grab Squirt. Open them I'll up. I'll grab Squirt. Squirt is now technically grappled. I He's open grappled. him, but don't look inside. It's, it seems empty. Okay, I, I specifically didn't look inside. <laughs> I mean, nothing's like swashing <laughs> around, I mean. Right, um, I will, I will, there's not like a little person in there. I will uh, hold, hold it open for her. Yeah, so uh, this, this, this boggle is um swirling around he's like yeah let me go let me go let me go let me go and um Pimner's doing her best to like hold on it's almost it's a little smaller than you but like you know you it's a little bit of a uh of an ordeal and like almost like sweat like projectile sweat like this <laughs> this goopy oil just starts squirting from him Ew. I guess oh oh uh, I guess it's working was it if it, did they get scared? They shoot out a bunch of the oil. Well, uh, no. Karen, uh, can uh, you 
Karen, can you scare it a little bit more? Oh no. Is that what it is that how it works? Is that I don't remember. But I can scare it. I'll try it. Right, so um Just give me a like a sleight of hand or or Kalzi, um, as you try to like scoop up some of this oil. Sleight of hand. Oh my gosh, if I had and that make roll... make a funnel. Uh, nine. Yeah. Nine. You just can't quite get it to swarm around a little too much. It's oh like gosh. making big puddles on the floor, but you're not this able to get the fresh, killing me. the fresh, um, oil. But he's gonna try to escape. Um, so you can give me either strength... Well, strength checks, but he's gonna use, um... He's gonna try to escape on... on... Our turn, or we just play the fast moves? Oh, wait, I'm sorry, it's not his turn. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, hey, Mark, uh, ne- next time you see, uh, you see Jess, uh, the one you live with, uh, yeah, I me- mentioned to them that during this gameplay, you had to scoop uh, scoop up a few handfuls of oil. Into She'll a... know the reference. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to see if I have anything I can use as a funnel. I could use my spyglass if I break both ends, but I'm not doing that. <laughs> All right, Karen. Yeah, I don't have any bonus actions. Oh, I'm sorry. It's still your turn, technically. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying I don't think I have any bonus actions that I can do. Yeah. Say, say, come on, man. Stand still. Give me some of that so, oil. Wait. <laughs> sweet, sweet oil. Yeah. So do you Got want it. me to, like, scare the one that's grappled by... Scare him? Yeah. Is that how it works? You just think if you scare it, they have more oil. Okay. Um, I guess with like, just for like flavor, it's like meat cleaver on the one hand and the meat tenderizer on the other. They're going to st- like stomp up to the boglin and just try and intimidate. Yeah. Can you say something? <laughs> 16 more than enough. Yeah, like the, the oil just like, starts just like just pour out of like to start pouring out of his ears and nose. And He's like, like ah, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> I can't help but feel that Pim's getting some of it on, a, on herself. Yeah. You give me another uh, sleight of hand check. <laughs> um, Galaxy. Another? Uh... No, no. And then Pim's backseat, like, sleight of hand instructing because my, I have a plus nine for that. And I'm like, no, 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 do it like this. Do it like this. I literally got less than your plus. It squirts. <laughs> it was, he's able to get a little bit of oil. So it's like, oh, that's not enough. I need more anymore. Uh, just stuff the whole what? thing in there. What happens if you just two switch places? Like, can you hand off the... Maybe not now. It's too greasy. <laughs> Alright, let's move up. Googles. I take the dash, dash action and run into this room here. Passes by Ray. Attack of opportunity. If you want. Uh, sure. Uh, I'll I'll do a uh, grapple. A grapple. Okay. Straight. Right, pulls a three. He's grappled too. Oh my yeah. gosh. It's gonna get so sticky over here. Phrasing. It holds it out at arm's, uh, arm's reach. <laughs> yeah. It's like by the head. <laughs> uh. He tries to kick you. It's like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> I got another one in case you like empty that one. To do. Would Pimner like give it to Karen? Just for later. Like, does that work I, with the on word? my turn? Yeah. Well, just... I could just drop it and grab the can from Calzy. Well, it'll run away. Can you give it to someone? Yeah. Give. 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 We'll find grab. out. If it's, it's a strength roll, pick me over Calzy. <laughs> Google's gonna attempt to 
escape from uh, the, the Kelsey. Oh no, uh, Pimner. I'm since ready they for are it. So, since they're so slippery. Yeah. It's gonna be a little easier for him. Give me a strength check. Or a, oh. Oh. Wait, strength saving or athletics. Thirty. It's probably gonna be the same. Yeah. Minus two. Yeah. Not enough. Yeah, that's fair. He slips out. Burns in this room. Ah. Huh. He's gonna do the same. He's gonna take the dash action. Run in the room. Pinner. I don't really want to grapple it because I want to steal squirts because I have the sudden. Gray has one. Oh, oh, Gray has oh. one. Oh, see. Oh, okay. I just I checked your vision. You do have a view. Um, they seem to be gathering around one of those um jack of the boxes, like you saw in a uh, scavenger's uh, pantry. Oh yeah, what's about that? Parlor. Isn't there an alarm system or something? What? Uh. You don't know what it was, but there was one in, in Scavitha's uh, team, and they, they seem to be gathering around that. That seems like a bad thing. Oh, but I could pick and up the squirts, or I could run into that room. Uh, bring over the uh, uh, bring over the squirt thing. I'm okay. I'm gonna tell everyone in the. The thing, like they, they look like they're up to no good in there, and then I'm going to grab Squirt and yeah. try and get some of the oil from Gray's Boogle. Saying like the floor stuff is fine, but I want the fresh oil. <sighs> oh, okay, Squirt. <laughs> and so I'll just bring him over here. Yeah. Yep. So give me a sleight of hand to try to maneuver. Uh, squirt to pick up the soil. Are you uh, kidding me? Yeah. Ugh! Again, it's like your hands are shaking too much. This is this is a lot harder than I thought it was. I'm sorry, Kelsey. <laughs> oh, uh, I got it. Hands yeah, are so slippery. <laughs> uh, Aster, are you just enjoying the comedy? <laughs> um. I. It's well, time to look around. Oh yeah, but oh, the, the store next to you, by the way, is is closed. This one? Yeah. yeah. Well, you were already in there. We we didn't see anything while we were in there. I don't think. Yeah, that's where you had the tea. Yeah. Wait, uh, what? Can I ask you something about fast hands? Sure. So, because it says it's a sleight of hand thing. That if I'm doing a sleight of hand, I can do a bonus action of a sleight of hand as well. So yeah. would I be able to try twice sure. to get yeah. stuff? Yeah. Okay. Retroactive. Yeah. Still I mean, I'm still allowed. Take the use an object action, yeah. I guess this is technically use an object. It's a little yeah. bit better. Alright, ah. yeah. Just... He gets one more little drop of oil. It's like, up oh, just one more, one more, then I'll be full. Uh, uh, and just imagine she, because it's uh, fast hands, that her hands are just moving like really fast with it underneath, yeah. just trying to catch drops, which so is like moving stupid fast. Let's just stick the entire thing inside. Said that earlier, too. That's going to be Karen's problem solving if we don't hurry up. What did what was Aster going to do? Are these 10 foot squares or 5 foot squares? Um, 10 foot squares. We're, we're just really tiny. Yeah. <laughs> Even with my mirthful leap, that won't do a whole heck of a lot. Mirthful leap. Yeah, it's a thing. I can jump yeah, an yeah. extra D8 of feet. Entire mirth. An entire mirth. Well, <laughs> I really don't feel like dashing all the way over there. I still won't even get, like, halfway. This is a giant room. I'll let you be closer if you oh. want. <laughs> it's a workshop. Yeah. Well, sh shut up. 
Uh, uh, they, they probably have to have a lot of room for all the power tools and everything. You gotta have the, safety. Yeah. The, the proper fire safety. Yeah. No, it's fine. I'll just move my... I mean, I'll let you... Like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll let you start closer since, like, you weren't moving with everyone else. <laughs> it's so we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50... Oh, wait, actually... Oh, no, I'd have to dash. If I bonus action dash, I can use my full 70 feet and get right up there. So, that's fine. He keeps saying that he can move you closer. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm all, I don't want to cheat the system, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I like do, a, but I cheating like... can be fun. <laughs> Fine! Oh my god, I'll start here then. <laughs> Asher <laughs> didn't leave the door. He was like, no! Nah. Thank yeah. you, Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right. What, so we'll get, I'll get up right beside Gray. That's all my movement. Okay. Um, I... Uh, what, what, he's grappled though. I can't do. Sh I couldn't do anything anyway. It's fine. All right, Chelsea. Hi. Says, can I cannot do any of this? I'm going to actually take out from my inventory a blanket, a nice absorbent blanket. I definitely said that they were up to something in the other room. Don't forget that. Yes. But. <laughs> I've already said what I'm doing, so Karen, that's gonna be up to you. I'm gonna take the the blanket and I'm gonna wrap as just get oil onto the blanket, absorb what I can from this thing, and then I'm gonna use that and squeeze squeeze that out like a wet towel into squirt. So you're gonna take, that, you're gonna take the oil from the. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap the thing that that is being held right now. Or I'm going to rub my blanket on it, absorb some of the oil, and then use that ringing out into squirt the oil can. So I don't have to deal with all of this stupid crap. Yeah, this is going to be, um, like, uh, athletics or acrobatics with advantage. This is being grappled. Um, advantage. See if you can, like, oh. l l like wrap it up enough. Oh, there's a 17, finally. 18. 18? Yeah. Yeah, it's more than enough. You're able to get a, 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 a blanket full of uh, of the oil. And yeah, Squirt got goes, it. Squirt's like, yeah, every little, every last drop. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you you have lost your talking privileges. Bring it in there. Yeah, every, yeah come on, come on, come on. It's like, he goes, I'm full! I'm full! Yippee! Your discretion advised. <laughs> So some, so some little flips. Oh, it all fell out again. <laughs> Here's its centrifugal force. Right. Karen. Well, no one else is going to be responsible. She's going to go into the room. I got blankety oil. Wow, great. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's Karen. That's not Sam. Uh, and I'm gonna storm into that room and go up to this guy. I guess sort of like see what the heck is going on. Okay, so uh, ten brightly painted structures resembling little wooden houses line the walls of this room. Each small house has a three foot high hinged door. Four of the doors are open. The other six are closed. A narrow staircase extends the circular wall. Near the foot of the stairs is a painted wooden box three feet um, three feet on a side. A crank protrudes from one side of it, causing it to resemble an oversized jack-in-the-box. And these boogles are kind of like, you know, sur are, uh, like, surrounding it. Like, that they're about to do something to it. Okay. I feel like, I don't know, violence is the answer here? Like... Ken Booglins, can they talk? Um, they were yelling in Sylvan. Oh, okay, so everyone but Pimner can talk to them. Yeah. <laughs> everyone <laughs> but Pimner. <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse me, what's going on in here? What's like, what's uh, going on? What are you two doing? You're gonna kill Boogles. 
You wanna kill the two burglars? We're not we're not gonna kill you. We're not gonna kill you. Just want your oil. We're done. We're gonna leave you alone. You want you want our oil, and that's and that's what makes us boogles, and you're gonna kill us. If you aren't gonna be reasonable, I will also not be reasonable. It's like, look over a friend. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Yeah, if we let him go, will you stop doing whatever the heck you're doing? Stop taking our oil. Yep, we're done taking oil. We're all done. Cool. I'll yell out, they'll, and they'll drop him, and when he gets back in here, you two stop whatever the heck you're doing, okay? Alright, great. Do you, dr do you drop him? Uh, gladly. <laughs> yeah. And, and Gray's just glad that they're wearing gloves. <laughs> and so... They're dropped. They're coming this, this, in. This, this bottle drops like on the floor, like, face first, into a pile of his own oil on the floor. He kind of like scampers up, like hey, 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 hey. and like kind of trips over the oil, his own oil. He tries to run. He runs into this room. It's like call the dragon, call the dragon, call call a uh, cradle what? fall, call what? cradle fall. What? It's like like no, they promise not to. It's like but they're gonna kill us. It's like no, they let. Let you go. No need to yeah. call the dragon. Okay, yep. Everything's good here. No need to call that dragon. Let's just call bygones be bygones, and everyone will leave everyone alone. It's like, how would you continue I... terrorizing the children? In peace. That seems like a separate thing. Uh, <laughs> but for now, yeah. we're all good. Cool. We cool? We cool. So we cool. Walks by. Okay. It's like back to the shadows. Okay, thank you. And then Karen's definitely gonna stay by this box yeah. until all of them leave. This one <laughs> like kinda passed the box. It's like bye dragon. Yes, yes, goodbye to the dragon. Over Don't here. need to call him. Saying this one bows. Goes Your Highness? And then he bows. Oh, and then like it you like it's like oops. The oil came it, out. It happens. You're not the first one. <laughs> he was super excited to meet the queen. Yeah. And as they go behind the uh, the boxes, they kind of like merge into the shadows once again. <laughs> the kids start clapping. It's like, oh, that was great. That was like the funniest thing we saw all day. Glad we could help the children. Charity is one of my favorite things to do. Kind of wish you would have Chop their oily little heads off, but uh, they were cooperative. Yep. So what, what, type, what type of things do they do to you, young kids? Just, you said that they sometimes bother you. They just make creepy stuff happen. It's like this is kind of unpleasant. They don't really hurt us or anything. They just kind of scare us. Still not very nice. It's like the more happy we are, like kind of the the less that happens with them. Interesting. Um, just remind you. Oh, we can go to how much? How much time do we have to get back to the? Sorry, go get the painting. Portrait? Yeah. Yeah, like six, six days. days. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, that's if we have a DM that plays by like I'm playing strict with, travel rules or something like that, which is pretty. I think it's, yeah. it, it may even be like ten or something. I think the original time was twelve or something, but and the number keeps changing because nobody remembers <laughs> to write it down. Numbers are weird in the Feywild. Ooh. So just remind you. That uh, this little drow boy um, said he made an imprint of the key to the kitchens in a bar of soap. Oh yeah! And uh, he was willing to give it to him to you with, eight uh, hours ago in the return of return of something. It says, uh, "Give him some some fresh milk or some other tasty treat." He says, "It's the it's the rule of recipe recipe." Recipe, oh, yeah. It's the rule of give and get, he says. <laughs> Reciprocation. 
Yes. Yeah, reciprocate. Yeah. Tasty treat. Reciprocity. Show I off. take out the cockroach lollipop. <laughs> Is it full of just like lint and? No, no, I stuff. kept it in a very clean thing. In a, in a very yes, it probably it was in with the incense block I have, so it tastes like. Is that incense. the goblin candy? No. It looks like goblin candy. I can see the cockroaches inside. No. Are you lying to children right now, <laughs> Kelsey? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, it's better than nothing. I mean, we don't get these very often. I would have preferred some fresh milk. But... I mean, I don't... I haven't seen a cow the entire time I was here. Kelsey definitely is not lying. <laughs> so he gives you a ba the bar of soap with an imprint of a key. And they're, they're like, why would you go to a cow for milk? Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, no. Thank you. <laughs> Now, now you have to figure out in your mind what do they get milk from? <laughs> Warm glass of milk. From humans? From uh, the creature. <laughs> it's behind the other door. So, before we continue, well, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at the two keys I have that I got from Jingle Jangle, a silver key and an iron key. Mm. Do any of them match the, uh, the, sar the bar soap? Kind of compare them. Uh, they do not. Um, the kid okay. said that he had stole it. He had um, kind of stole it from um, Granny Nightshade, made an imprint of it, and then returned it before. Right. Well, I'm just I'm I'm guessing that one of my keys were some sort of weird magical skeleton key that might. Oh, work. So actually, gonna... he stole it from um, something called Pincushion. Oh yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Like okay, so... like um, that's the. The name says so he took it from Pink Cushion. Well, I quickly huddle with everybody. Does anybody have a way to make a eh? melt metal? I don't know. Uh, Smithing? No. I wonder if anybody had Smith tools and is proficient in Smith's tools. Is that you? Are you? Can you do that? No, no, no. That was me as a player saying that. <laughs> Maybe we should uh, Maybe, call it at this me, point, shall we? Um, can you, if you guys um, want. I, I do have a candle that we could melt wax into to make a wax key. That doesn't help. I'm probably pushing it a lot, though. Uh, might have to look around to say, wait. wait to, but the but, 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 but the thoughts? Why did we all we all got gifts from the the, the gold maker, right? Yeah, mine's a fabric bag of holding. The squirt hasn't gotten a gift from him. We could get the key made from him. He could just make the key. Maybe. Also, going through my things, I found out I have a hammer. That's new. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a key. <laughs> um, Just packed it without noticing. That said, um, yes, so. yeah, yeah, if you Pinder guys want can it. probably un can probably pick the lock. Is it a magic key though? I feel like there's magic involved. I every time I try and pick a lock, there's always a reason why I can't. Well, yeah. if if it was a magic key, then you wouldn't be able to make a duplicate. Yeah. Might be magical soap. I mean, you don't know yeah. till, you, till you try. Yeah. Okay. Well, if we're here, we like maybe not tonight or next time. Pimner could just try doing it, and then if it doesn't work, then we leave and make the key. No, I'd say try try doing it, and that'll be a great cliffhanger. Yeah. Yeah. Don't give us the answer if it happens or not until next week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just cut the uh, cut the episode off immediately before the dice stop rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up for that if everyone else is. Yeah. I mean, I know it's getting late, but I'm good to go until midnight. I'll no, have to, I want to jump off it, but I, I, we're, we're saying let's just try to open the door. That's a cliffhanger. You also don't know where the keyhole is. <laughs> that's, that's also a big part. Uh, yeah. Is it on the door? Which door? Uh, the Wait. one on the left. Oh, can we just ask one of the kids? 
Um, try, try asking them. Excuse we, me. We watched her unlock it at one point. That yeah. lead, that led to the gardens. Yeah, that oh. was. Oh, that was uh, the kitchen. Excuse me, um, young certain and our madams, and um, do, uh, do you know where the kitchen is? It's like, well, we kind of live in a tree, so there's only one way to go, and they they point towards like the north there. Um, you just go past the uh, past the cupboards and the pantries. Watch out for that creepy ghoul girl. Um, then gonna have to get through an, your first locked door. If you go this way, um, that's where the portrait room is. If we keep, keep the pictures, and then that is where you'll find the door to the kitchen. Oh, I guess it's not as straightforward as I thought. Well, this key might unlock all of them. Let me just double check here. Because I think it might unlock all of them. Uh, we wouldn't know. Yeah, we wouldn't know. Well, the kid will know. If he stole one yeah. key and he has to go through another locked room. It's fair. Oh, they all seem to be a little different. Mm. So. Okay. Oh, well, better. Better luck next time. Yeah, oh, okay. we shall oh, be sorry. relying heavily on Pimner next episode. Okay, so, I'm sorry, I misread it. Um, he does say, like, this This unlocks all the doors. Mm. And we use it to get into the kitchen. It's not just, but, a, okay. it's not just a thing in the kitchen. So you go through, through the uh, soldier barracks, Past the pantry, hopefully so pig isn't there. Pass the room with the pictures. Don't prick yourself on the thorns. And that's where the kitchen is. Barracks, pantry, port, portrait room, pantry, uh, kitchen. Did I have that right? Yeah. If we do I see that pig girl, do you think if I slapped her upside the head, she'd leave us alone? <sighs> She only obeys Granny. Oh. Is, is her direction to not let anyone up there? Or is would you, she saw us, she just let us go? Uh, we're guests. She she can't do anything. Yeah, we, we she likes to hide in the covers. We just go by as fast as we can. We can lock her in. Excellent idea, Gray. Let her starve to death. <laughs> Not where I was going, but that works. <laughs> Perfect way walk to kill a child. Walk her in the kitchen. <laughs> she'll yeah. have, she's Sounds walking like... the kitchen. She'll have plenty of food. No, she's going to be locked in a cupboard. But honestly, from what you've described, it sounds like she's already dead. And this kid is like <laughs> going hardcore on this on the big big lollipop. <laughs> she's, he's, he, he doesn't even care about the uh, cricket legs. Right. I suppose that is, really... a, that is a good place to stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Karen will have her revenge of just that existence of that kid. Oh, that's so big? <laughs> yeah. That kid's end of days are coming. <laughs> Watch it kill me. Okay. <laughs> uh, who'd have thought that Karen would be so vengeful? Ha 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 ha. Or easily offended. Easily. So, you are the queen. You can say off with his head. Yeah. I cannot say that. So, so Squirt yeah. is now filled with oil. Um, so you can now basically uh, squirt that oil out and make uh, difficult terrain and slippery stuff. Will he whine and complain about being refilled again? If he's empty, yeah, probably. And okay. Make sure he tells us where Yond is before he gets, I don't know, killed by something. <laughs> I, isn't he like an oil lamp? He has a little oil hand. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he's supposed to use the oil for like making a light. Well, I not think the it's, wild. I think it's oil, like in like how the Tin Man was all stiff. Oh, okay. I thought you said an oil lamp. No, no, okay. he's an oil can. Oh, can. Okay. He's That's why his name Squirt. Yes. 
If only we had a Warforged. <laughs> then he could be terrified. So, um, I mentioned this in the, in the Discord, but, like, I... I, um, I read something, it's like, oh, these guides are references to Oz. So we got the Scarecrow, we got the Oil Can, which is like the Tin yeah. Man. <laughs> Who's Dorothy? I won't tell you what the other one is, but it kind of fits into that, too. I think yeah. Dorothy is so big. Ew. Maybe, or maybe it's someone in Yond we haven't met yet. Yeah. I'm wondering who's Toto. Wouldn't that be Squirt? Is Karen the Wicked Witch? I bet Karen's the Wicked Witch. It's like the scene in Wicked. Yeah, is she is the Wicked version of... Uh, she's Glenda from Wicked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where she's actually the evil one. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Joey. Thank you. Oh, it's good to play him again. Yes. It's like, oh yeah, I forgot I have abilities. What does my character do? I, I, went I forgot how to fight. I went, I went 10 days of playing Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Has the itch subsided? Yes, a little bit. <laughs> For so, now. So Scroat was really you. Yeah. But instead of D&D, &D, oh. oh, no. it was oil. Oh, yeah, Joey really oh, no. needs to squirt. Oh, no. Wait. Yeah. You need to fill me up with D&D. With dice rolls. Uh, I, was hoping I got to get, use oh, my... So, it's fine that he killed that orc real quick, but, like, he had some abilities where, like, he can, like, garrote people and, like, grapple them and... Oh, cool God. Stuff. Grots are awful. And, like, I got to use my fast hands. And, um... Yeah. I was actually using, a, like, an altered version of him. He had, like, a ability called Meat Shield, where he could grapple someone and use it as a human shield. Ugh. But, uh, now I'm a lot happier I shot him. Like, it's okay, it's fine. Also, I think you were kind of meant to go there at an earlier level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Because you guys went to the hag, like, right away. Yeah, we, we beelined it. <laughs> yep. Alright, thanks everyone. Yeah. Have a good night. You too. Bye. Bye boy. Sorry, Jess, we weren't able to do much in that bo in that Google thing. No, that's fine. Uh, yeah. It happens. <laughs>